Inversion of Genesis, in interlude chapter three, the night bird falls at the curtain's call. In order to look for more information about your sibling, you and Paimon decide to visit Nahida in the sanctuary of Surasana once more. Along the way, you hear people discussing something. Let's move on with the Archon quest. It cannot be any more emotional than what Act 5 was. There's no way. Come on, serious suggestions, please. I'm not trying to write a thriller here. It's supposed to be an essay, you understand? An essay. That means facts and logic. What is he writing an essay on? Well, if it's facts and logic you're after, you shot yourself in the foot with your choice of research topic, didn't you? The Tataris Suna mystery. When so much remains unexplained, there's little to be objective about. Unless, of course, you restrict yourself to textual criticism. This is going over my head a little bit. Yeah, well, this is my teacher's area of research. I can't change that. But it's fascinating enough without having to sensationalize it, don't you think? The strange location, the missing details, a mysterious person. Well, that does sound like a book I would read. I'm not going to lie. I want to write my essay on something interesting, and I'm interested in getting to the bottom of all this. That's the only reason I came to you. Okay, that was one thing I really didn't like when I was getting my college degree to be a teacher. I had to write so many freaking papers. Oh my God. Oh no, I don't miss that. Yes, you came to me. So all the more reason to take my advice. The fact is, it's the dramatization that will make people want to read it. There's no getting around that. Uh, okay, uh, but... I like it. I like this guy's mustache. Did one of them just mention Tatarasuna? Tatarasuna. That's, that's all the way in Inazuma. Yeah, right. Is it just Paimon or is it kind of unusual for someone in Sumeru to want to write a paper about that? It's well, unusual. Everyone here is just going about their business. Maybe it really is just Paimon. I guess people here are free to research pretty much anything. Yeah, I mean, for instance, I'm a teacher, like I'm a gym teacher, right? But I am a huge space fanatic. I love learning about like black holes and stars and the universe, you know, and how many light years away this certain star is and size of stars. Like, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. So yeah, people can like research whatever it is that they want to research. Let's go listen in though. Great. Let's go find out what this Tatarasuna mystery is all about. Okay, mystery. Who done it? Runa, how are we doing? Inversion of Genesis, interlude chapter, act three. Oof, here we go. All right, I guess I'll go with my textual criticism and your editorial direction for the first draft. I have a feeling that the missing Kabuki Mono will end up being the main focus of this paper. Ugh, if only we knew where to find that traveler. From what they say about him, this seems like the kind of thing he'd know about. No, I don't know anything. Nobody wanted to fill me in on the plan in the last act. What makes you think I know anything about anything around here? Okay, I'm just as lost as you are, guys. All right, I just want to make that perfectly clear. Nobody tells me nothing. I'm learning things myself still. Why would I know? Are you looking for me? If you're looking for the traveler, that's me, I guess. Oh. You're the traveler, you say? I am. Hey, what's with that face? Don't believe us? If you don't believe me, I'll go. Yeah, we don't need this. We ain't got time for this, okay? No, no. Of course I believe you. Actually, I first heard about your great exploits when I was still in Inazuma. Yeah, that was fun. A ride and tried to murder us. You know, a shogun. This is my first time coming face to face with you and your mysterious silver-haired companion. I couldn't <laughs> believe my luck. And out of force of habit, I started... Uh, examining the evidence. Sorry. Paimon gonna give him a hard time? Oh, so what? For nope. the love of... <laughs> Sorry, we don't get out much, so our social skills are kind of lacking. And that's okay, I get that. Uh, Traveler, I hear you've helped many people a great deal and been to many places. Would you be able to tell us about Tatarasuna? Possibly? Actually, we don't know much about that place either. In fact... We only came over here because we heard you talking about it and wanted to learn more. Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. I can't help you. I'm sorry. Go to Inazuma yourself and check it out. My teacher chose this area of research as a personal challenge. 
He said it's difficult to get into because even Inazumans don't know much about Tatarasuna's past. But who'd have thought that... Uh... If you don't mind, I'd love to show you all my outline for the book I'm writing about Tatarasuna. Sure. Uh, hold on, Sawada. Don't you think that's a bit of a deep dive for a first read? Well, fair point. In that case, please ease yourselves in gently by taking a look at Akaba's latest essay draft. Okay, sure. Proofreading? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Let me give you some background. This all started with the discovery of some records in Tatarasuna. The writings mentioned someone by the name of Mikoshi Nagamasa, who crafted a fine blade. Okay. But in the end, he threw it into a fire to destroy it and killed his servant Katsuragi. Why? Well, no one knows. Ooh, I wonder why. Apart from the sword maker, his servant, and the one who wrote this all down, the records also mention a kabuki mono. This seems to be an Inazuman word for an eccentric stranger, someone who dresses funny or acts in an unusual way. Well, sign me up, okay? I'm a kabuki mono. That's what I am, because I'm eccentric as hell, okay? And I dress funny and I act in an unusual way. Have you not seen me here on Twitch? Obviously. That's right. Akaba's teacher has spent quite some time researching these events on the ground. This Kabuki Mono lived in Tatara Suna for a while before disappearing without a trace. And shortly afterwards, as Akaba mentioned, things got pretty ugly. Okay. So first this strange person goes missing, then a murder happens? Mm, seems kind of fishy to Paimon. It's like an episode of Law and Order. Every single quest in this game is like an episode of Law and Order. Who done it? Murder mystery. Yes, my thoughts exactly. So I helped out too. I asked everyone I could think of if they knew anything about what happened back then. And wow, did I get lucky. Man, he sounds excited. Stop shouting. This part's important. I just wanted to make it stand out. It just so happens that a friend of mine works at the government records office. He looked into it for me, and I can now confirm that all the aforementioned individuals did, in fact, live in Inazuma over 400 years ago. 400 years ago? Damn! Even back then, Tatara Suna was already at the center of Inazuma's smelting industry. The man in charge was a government official named Niwa. Curiously enough, it seems like he went missing too. Could it be? Could it be what? Wait, so there are two missing people in the story now? What is going on? That's right. What's more, Niwa is a name with a lot of history to it. Have you ever heard of the great swordsmith clans of Inazuma? Yes, we heard about them in Kazuha's story quest. Yes. Oh, the swordsmiths? Yeah, um, like Ishin art and so on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, yes, you really know your stuff. That makes things easier. So, basically, this Niwa was a distant relative of the Kaidahara clan, the last practitioners of Ishin art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. We talked to Kazuo about that back in the day when he got possessed by a sword and the sword was talking to us. It was a mess. Something then seems to have happened in the Kaidahara clan leading to their downfall. I don't know the details, but taken in light of everything else going on around that time, it makes you wonder whether it's all connected somehow. The Kaidahara clan? Kazuha. Sawada, you left out the biggest detail of all. What now? There's more? Oh my god, what more can you get on? What, what more can you pile on? Oh, yes, of course. How could I forget? Brace your minds, ladies and gents, for they are about to be blown. Or maybe you won't believe your ears. I wouldn't blame you, of course, because in all my years as a writer, this is by far the most... <sighs> <laughs> next time, next time I have like some shocking news, I'm going to say that. Brace your minds, ladies and gents, for they are about to be blown. Get to the point, for Pete's sake. According to information so good. acquired by Akaba's teacher, the Kabuki Mono was not a human, but a puppet. Raiden, right? No. Scaramouche, Wander, Scaramouche, Scaramouche, right? Those are the only two that we know of right now, right? Scaramouche and Raiden? A puppet? 
the Shogun's puppet that the Electro Archon made should be ruling Inazuma with her as we speak. It couldn't be her. Couldn't be her. It's not Raiden Shogun. The Kabuki Mone has to be the Balladeer, but what was he doing 400 years? How freaking old is the Balladeer? Oh, that's right, because Raiden's really old, so Balladeer's old. I gotcha. Aha! Judging by the looks on your faces, you do know something after all. Yes, we do! <laughs> Glare at Paimon and hope she keeps her mouth shut. Yes, Paimon! You shut that trap! Uh, no! Paimon just meant... Uh, <laughs> how creepy! The way you described it makes it sound like a ghost story. I agree, it does. But considering that non-human races in Inazuma are by no means uncommon, spooky events are to be expected. We and like that's spooky. exactly what my book is about. Please, take a look. All right. Oh my God, oh my God, lots of reading. From existing texts, however, it is apparent that this novel of fantastical, colorful sensibilities. But from, oh my Lord, okay. Oh, and please read my essay draft as well. Oh God, more reading? Oh my lord! It seems that the rest of this paper remains unfinished. One thing is for sure though, a lot of thought was put into it. Okay. Woo! That is a lot of reading. Sawada was encouraging me to follow his more creative approach, but I think essays should be grounded in facts. My brain hurts now. I don't now. think explaining everything away with mysterious forces will cut it. My brain is exploding. Oh! How about if I plug the holes in Sawana's narrative with political intrigue? Like, um, I could put a turf war between rival factions at the center of the whole series of events. Okay. Wait, you're allowed to just make stuff up? Pretty sure you've gone from essay to guess a there. Guess a? <laughs> oh my god, I've never heard that before. Sounds more like a novel. Has this guy ever even written an essay before? I've never heard that term before. I'm going to start using it with students. Akaba, look, your teacher <laughs> has researched this extensively. I've reached out to everyone I could think of. Whatever information we have now is all that there is to know. This is as much detail as you're ever going to get. Besides, if there really was a political power struggle going on at anything like the level you seem to be suggesting, what hope would we ever have of finding out the truth? Ugh, good point. Okay, back to the drawing board, I guess. Uh, give me some time. I, I need to find a new angle on this. Yeah, I'll leave you to it, okay? My brain still hurts from all that reading. We have some other stuff to do, so we'll have to say goodbye for now. Bye, guys. Good luck with your essay. Have fun. All right, thank you. If you find out any more info about all this, please do let me know. Thanks so much. Are you going to make me read it again? After you've revised it and added info? Y'all have fun. <laughs> hey, so that thing they were talking about, it has to do with the balladeer, doesn't yep, it? Yep, 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 it does. Okay, then even if we did know something about it, we probably couldn't share it with them, huh? Probably not a good idea to share it with them. After all, we kicked his butt and got him locked up. Information about people like that is usually super confidential, isn't it? No, I agree. If you ask Paimon, Akaba should just pick a different topic. There must be as many essay topics as there are trees in the forest. There's no point in... Is that Mona? Oh. Who's that? That, that wasn't Mona. Who's that? He just went by over there. It looked like, like. It's Scaramouche. The Balladeer. No, it can't have been. How did he get away? Oh, quick, let's catch up and see. Wait, how did he get away? How did he get out? He's escaping. Guards, guards. Nobody cares, okay? Where's Sino when you need him? Hey, Mahamatra, aren't you supposed to be here? Where you at, bro? No one cares. Everybody just look and they're standing right there and they're like, hey, hey, how's it going, bro? And huh? Nothing? Really, fellas? You're just gonna let some weird guy dressed up so weird with a look he looks like a freaking frisbee, and you're gonna let him just walk on right by you? Nahida, did you see the the frisbee running around? Nahida! The frisbee is loose! Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Hi, hi, you little cutie patootie. Nahida, bad news. We just saw the balladeer strolling around in public. Yeah. Did he escape or? Ah, 
It's him! What are you doing here? Do you just not know how to give up? Bro! You had to go through 168 samsara cycles. Don't you just know? I can't, man. Hmm. Sure enough, you're here. Yeah, do you want to go again? You want to go another round? Hey, what are you doing in the sanctuary of Surasthana? Aren't you supposed to be locked up? Right! I know you must have a lot of questions. Please, allow me to explain. Yeah, you better. And you better be good, Nahida. I love and adore you, but it better be good. It was my idea to set the Balladeer free. We made a deal, and he's going to do some investigation in Ermin Soul for me. You made a deal? What? Why? For what? You already gave away your gnosises. You made a deal with the Torah. He can't tell us what he said. And now you're making a deal with the Balladeer. Nahida, are you really on our side? Whose side are you on? You're making deals. What if he goes into Ermansoul and screws around with things? A deal? Huh. You sure you trust this guy? Uh, Paimon, that's what I just said. What did you expect? Why do you think Sumeru would keep me around otherwise? Or maybe killing me is all you can think about. Well, do you not understand the mess that you made that we had to clean up? But if that's the case, why haven't you done it already? <sighs> Don't flatter yourself. It was... Nahida said there's still some mysteries in you to figure out. Right, exactly. Uh, I know, we know. So if it were up to you, you'd finish the job? Can I? I had you all wrong. Can I? There I was thinking you were just getting cold feet. Oh, I don't have cold feet. I don't have cold feet at all. Don't you... Don't you even try to trash talk me, okay? Like I said, you look like a freaking frisbee, bro. I will take you and fling you 300 yards. All right? Don't start with me. Mm, well, that escalated quickly. Not a good start. Could I ask you all to please calm down? No, Nahida. No. Yes. Okay. Nahida's trying to bring us down. <laughs> but Paimon's worried about you, Nahida. Don't let him trick you. Yeah. <laughs> It's not every day you see people questioning the God of Wisdom's judgment. Just when you think you've seen it all. Oh my God, can we kick him in the face now? Don't you dare try to drive a wedge between us. Paimon, go punch him. Give him a drop kick. As long as the terms are reasonable, I don't think there's a problem in making a deal. Even with the Balladeer. What are the terms, Nahida? What are the terms? What are the terms? Well... I, for one, have no reason to doubt you, considering you even struck a deal with the doctor. We don't know what that was about either. Yes, one in which I gained valuable information. Tell us! You'll come to understand more about that in the fullness of time. No, I want to know now. Now, Nahida, now. I'm putting my foot down, okay? Foot, foot to the floor, stomping my foot. I want to know now. You tell me now? Tell me now. <laughs> Please? The Paladier's power was all but completely spent after your battle. He's no longer strong enough to be a strategic threat to us. Mm -hmm. That puts him in quite a precarious position. But he's mouthing off. He's mouthing off. We don't allow people to mouth off. Plus, he's a former Harbinger with knowledge of many of the Fatui's sensitive secrets. Being stuck here in Sumeru could make him a sitting duck, depending on how the Fatui plan to respond. Wait a second. Farmer? You mean, he's not a harbinger anymore? What? How is he not? I take no pleasure in saying this, but it seems as if the doctor had no intention of welcoming back a loser. Wait, so. what? The doctor isn't in charge. The doctor's only the number two, right? The doctor's only the number two. So, but they accepted Signora back. They took Signora back, right? Like, well, no, she, well, no, I take that back. They did not take, well, they took her back after she died, but you know what I'm saying? But they <clears throat> toss them out like trash. Sometimes it's you using them. Other times it's them using you. Most human relationships are this way. Certainly all the stable ones are. 
That's how it was between me and the Fatui. And also between each of the Harbingers. I want to learn more about the Harbingers. Can you tell me about them? So as long as you have some value to offer, nobody will ever abandon you. But after recent events, even I have to admit that I'm not worth quite what I used to be. So he's worthless to the Harbingers now. So he's not a Harbinger anymore. So who's going to replace you? <laughs> well, if the Fatui are going to reevaluate my utility, I need to have a backup plan for myself. As we discussed, I don't like causing harm to living beings. And you said you need protection. So why not join forces with us? Yeah, okay. Yeah, after what we went through, you think, you think that's what we want? I think these two have made their objection to that idea fairly clear. Don't we you? have? Mm -hmm. And they're your friends. So I guess you'll be siding with them. Yeah, you're on your own, Balladeer. Suck it. Yeah, obviously. Yahira, don't listen to him. Then let's put that discussion to the side for now. We still have time. Today can be a trial run. Where we go from here will depend on how well we manage to cooperate today. I don't want to have a trial run. This is what I don't understand. This is what I don't understand about Genshin, okay? Why are the gods making deals with the devil, right? Venti, Gnosis gone. Signora punched him in the stomach. And you know what he did after his Gnosis was taken away from him? Absolutely nothing. He went out for a drink. Zhang Li, right? Rex Lapis made a deal, said, hey, I will do give you my gnosis if you give me something. And according to Zhang Li, he can't tell anybody what they offered him because he signed a contract, which is so dumb. And then Yai Miko just said, here you go, scary moosh. Have this gnosis, okay? Here you go. It's yours, all right? A gave it to Yai Miko, and Yai Miko was like, here you go. Boom. There you go. In your lap. There you go. Have fun with it. Whatever, right? And now Nahida's like, I have two gnosises and I'm just going to give them to Dottore. Why? For what? All right, then I'll do what we agreed. Good. Go now and keep in touch. I don't even want to get to Fontaine now because I feel like it's gonna, just going to make me rage out. Because <laughs> I'm going to be like, you Archons are stupid. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Bye, Scary Moosh. Have a good day. See you later, bro. Nahida, are you? I don't know where he's going, are but. Are you serious about this? Yes. Why? For what? I have my reasons for this decision. In fact, I'm largely doing it for your benefit. My benefit? What do we benefit out of this? I'll make a deal with you, Nahida. You tell me what Dottore told you, and I will. Think about it. For my benefit? Yes. As I told you once before, there's information about your twin in Ermin's soul. Yes, and I have a theory about that. Oh, yeah. Actually, that's the whole reason we came to see you today. So, you have an update on that? I have a theory. And here's my current theory, okay? There are two Tevats. Good Tevat, bad Tevat, right? Good Tevat is where we're from. Traveler and our sibling. Bad Tevat is where we're at right now. Okay? Traveler and sibling traveled from good Tevat to bad Tevat, right? Where there is another traveler and sibling. A bad traveler and sibling. Good traveler and sibling. Bad traveler sibling. Okay? And we traveled to the bad Tevat, right? The good sibling got trapped by the unknown god and is still trapped, right? So the sibling that we see is the bad sibling that we see that has been on this Tevat the entire time, right? And there is a bad traveler on this Tevat that we haven't met yet. That is my theory. Mm -hmm. You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twin's details in the Descender category. This is an extremely important point. What did you just say? You may remember me mentioning that the Fatui had not included your twins detail in Descender. Right, we're a Descender. We're a Descender, but our sibling isn't. That's why I feel like there's two different Tevats because the, the our, te, our sibling is still trapped and not the, the sibling that we keep seeing. It's possible that the Fatui have other information that even I don't know about. And since the Balladeer used to be one of them, he'll be better acquainted with this information than I am. 
He was granted the power to connect with Ermensoul when he almost became the god of a new era. Even though he no longer has the Gnosis, some traces of its power remain in him. He can still connect. Okay. The amount of information in Ermensoul is vast beyond description. Sifting through all of it without knowing what to look for would take too long, even for me. Like a Google search. Without knowing the search term, basically. So I asked the Balladeer to search in Ermensoul for any information about the Descenders. He's more familiar with this kind of information and should be able to find it more quickly. But what if he lies to you? Exactly! Or what if... But just don't trust him. Paima just doesn't trust him. He's treated us as enemies every time we've run into him. Yep. I understand. But sometimes... Everything is dictated by which side you're on. How things will go in the future depends on what information he brings back. And Traveler, I know what your heart desires most of all. Yes, I want to know about my sibling. Our minds have connected several times before. Mm -hmm. There is a corner of your heart reserved for an intense longing. A feeling of being all alone in the dark, searching for the one candle whose light still burns. As Sumeru's deity, it is my responsibility to be on guard against the Balladeer. But as someone who counts you as a friend, I want to do something for you. What's that? If this deal with the Balladeer can give you the answers you've been longing to find, then it's worth it. All right, Nahida, but if things go south, it's on you, okay? I'm not dealing with it. If things go south, it's your problem. All right, I've helped you too much. I've done too much for this whole entire world of Tevat. Things go bad, you take care of it. It's my pleasure, really. You're Samir's hero. You've more than earned it. Thanks, Nahida. Hmm. I'm still worried about this idea. Is there anything we can do to help? I was going to contact you about that, but then you suddenly showed up on your own accord. It seems like we have a telepathic connection. Ooh, maybe we do. In fact, I was going to ask you to supervise the Balladeer on my behalf while he carries out the task I assigned. Yeah, we'll supervise him, all right. Even though he only has a fraction of his full power left, that's still a fraction of a former Harbinger. If you could accompany him, it would put my mind at ease. Sure thing. Of course, I'll be there to help guide you through Ermensoul from the outside. I'm glad to be able to help. I got it. Okay. Yes. Info. Oh, great. Thank you. All right. You're Fia. Okay. Prepare yourselves. I'm Can't say no to Nahida. Oh, you're going to put us in the tree? Let's go. Wow. It looks pretty different here compared to last time. Ooh. The colors Guess that must be because Sumeru's at peace now. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, we get to learn more. I'm excited. Look at that. Hot on my heels. You know, you didn't have to cut your catch up short just to keep me company. Oh, but I guess you panicked when you realized that I might enter Ermin's soul ahead of you. Oh my God. Stop. Just, 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 just shut, shut your trap. Okay, just don't talk to me. Nahida sent me to babysit you. How about that? Okay, I have to babysit you, Frisbee boy. Shut your beak, Jailbird. No way a prisoner gets to be so smug. Telling, Paimon. Telling. I understand that prisoners have to put up with harassment from the guards. But right now, I'm on temporary release. So maybe you should think about backing off a little. Well, do you have a little ankle monitor? That's what we need. We need a little monitor on his ankle. Sounds like a successful rendezvous. I need to be quite clear about something. In a few moments... You'll be entering into the innermost region of Ermensoul. It is an environment like no other, and the most important place in all of Sumeru. Unlike anywhere else, Ermensoul's inner region consists exclusively of torrents of information. Okay. You must put aside your differences and be extremely careful as you navigate your way through. We're going into the Matrix, everybody. Strap yourselves in. I know there are many grievances between you, on both sides. But it is essential that you remain calm after entry. This is as much for your own safety as anything else. Got it. All right, let's do it. Got it. Fine. Let's call it truce. But only 
until this mission's over. I guess. Let's cut each other a little slack, shall we? We are going to be traveling together after all. Mm, don't really want to, but I guess I got to. Per my agreement with Lesser Lord Kusanali, I'll be at the front. It's my job to lead the way and get rid of any obstacles in our path. All you have to do is keep your pretty eyes open and try not to fall behind. Whatever. <laughs> you sure are confident. Paimon will give you that. You make it sound like you're even more experienced at adventuring than us. If there are no further objections, I suggest we get going. Okay, let's go. Into the Matrix. Buckle up. Or did you need some time to mentally prepare yourselves? Do you need some time to, you know, get some new clothes, bro? We could do that. Ew. Ugh. The snark on this guy. Right? It's unbearable. There's no need for all the biting sarcasm. Focus on doing your job. <laughs> yeah. We can start now. Remember, I am your boss, not the other way around. Ermin Soul access grid. Initiating connection procedure. Is this a small sapling? What's going on? Look! Darn it! Come on, let's catch up with him! Okay, I guess. We're going in! Wow! So this is the inside of Ermin Soul. Ooh! What is going on in here? It's different than what I imagined. Ooh! Paimon's never seen anything like this. And it feels like a sacred place. I'm mesmerized. Ermin's soul is closely intertwined with the entirety of Tavat. Every bit of information flowing here means something. Pick your jaws up off the floor. It's time to go. Okay, my jaw is on the floor. Calm down. Why is it that Paimon just wants to do the opposite of everything he says? Same. Same, Paimon. <sighs> this is why me and Paimon are besties. Lesser Lord Kusanali, we will now proceed to the heart of Ermansoul. Can you still sense where the heart of Ermansoul is? Yes. Permission to begin searching for information there? Oh, well, he's being super nice to Nahida. Permission granted. Go ahead. Jeez. Let's go. Stay close. Don't go running off. Okay. Even though I'm the one in charge here, not you. Hey, so say we did go running off in here. What would happen? <laughs> what, what are you smirking at? <laughs> I was just imagining the look on your travel companion's face if you went and got lost. Why? What would happen? Anything's possible in here. You can't rule anything out. So if you want to stay safe, your best option is to stick close to me. No, if you want to stay safe, you need to stick close to me. You're not in a hurry, it looks like. What is that? These sapling things have spread out. The fragments have dissipated in some... Those are all packets of information from inside Ermansoul. Be careful not to touch them. Why? The location's changed. Looks like we've been transported to another pass. Be careful not to touch them. Can I get to it before he does? Can I get to it before he does? Can I get to it before he does? No. It looks the same in every direction. I'm gonna beat him to it this time. I'm gonna beat him to it this time. I want it first! I want it first! I want it first! Uh. No wonder he mentioned about getting lost. Huh. What do you know? He was actually telling the truth. We're on the inside. We're on the inside. We're trying to cut him off here. I want to get to the... Me again? Uh, what is it this time? <laughs> Paimon There's just straight up yelling at him. To lie, but this definitely isn't it. So why don't you relax your guard a little? Okay. Whatever you say. Bleh. Did he just shove me in the back? We're here. What a huge tree! Can we climb it? This is the center of Ermansoul. All the information in the world is flowing through it. Lesser Lord Kusanali. Good, you made it. Are you ready? I guess. Ready when you are. Then please begin. Preparing to access cognitive currents. Establishing waypoint. 
The Balladeer is actually doing what Nahida tells him. Guess he must want to stay alive. Yeah. He hasn't put up any resistance, and he seems good at working on the front line. Maybe he had a similar role in the Fatui. First, Akaba and Sawada stories. Now this. What a strange individual. Very strange. The rest is up to you. If you discover anything at all, make sure to share it with us. Will do. Okay. Huh. For once, we're the ones with nothing to do. Yeah, we're just chilling. Traveler, Paimon, would you like to talk? Hello? You were just talking to us. Nahida, is this a telepathic conversation? She's talking to us in our brains. Yes. I've also invited Paimon to join. Okay. Huh? What the? We can talk to each other inside our heads? Paimon cracks me up so much. Not gonna lie, I would freak out too. I'm guessing that you don't want us to disturb the balladeer. <laughs> That's part of it. Plus, we're all friends. There's nothing wrong with us talking like this once in a while. And she probably doesn't want to, the balladeer to hear some of the things that she's going to say, maybe? Paimon's never tried this before. This is great. So, Paimon's been wanting to ask you something. Don't you think the balladeer's a bit of a walking contradiction? He's always talking back, but he seems to listen to what you say. Yeah, right? I agree. Yes, and he seems to excel at doing odd jobs for others. As I've told you before, there are still some mysteries for him to resolve. Things that are clear as day to me, but that he has yet to understand. Perhaps today will be the day that he finds some answers. Is it about his past? The betrayals? He had three, right? And the other events in Inazuma. Well done. Smart and attentive as always. Yeah, there were three betrayals. I remember that. Actually, I caught a glimpse of a few things when I ran into Hypatia at Paris D.I., yeah, we saw some of that. You relate what you saw to the Balladeer's mind. Yeah, yeah, the cutscene, so, I remember. You made contact with that part of his mind. Right? Well, it's true. Betrayal turned the Balladeer into the person he is today. Huh. Paimon thought nothing could get under that guy's skin. Turns out, he can get hurt and angry just like anyone else. Everyone has a history, Paimon. Even if you're a puppet created by the Electro Archon. Speaking of puppets, we ran into two people at the Academia today talking about an essay. Turns out their topic was about the Tatarasuna incident. Nahida, do you know anything about that? Ooh, good question, Paimon. If you mean the mysterious events, the Kabuki Mono and so on, yes. I know about all of that. What can you tell us? Really? Because from what they were saying, it sounded like lots of Tatarasuna's history is still unexplained. And most of the information we have now is just from people filling the gaps with their imagination. At least that's what they thought. You tell Nahida about the story Akaba and Sawada are writing. Oh, how interesting. Those two managed to deduce quite a lot through guesswork alone. It's their guessing. So the guessing got it right? <laughs> they guess I got it right. Well, they guess oh right about one thing. Tatara Suna was sabotaged. Must be a riveting conversation you three are having. Ooh. Funny how all the good ones happen when I'm not involved. Ooh, he knows that we're having a chat in our heads. How do you know that, bro? Uh, uh what makes you think we're talking to each other? <laughs> yeah. Don't insult me. You're having a private conversation without me. Obviously, I must be the topic of said conversation. No, no, not at all. Not at all. We have every right to keep certain things confidential. Of course you do. You can't have your prisoner knowing too much. So, uh, have you found anything yet? Still looking. Don't get your hopes up, though. You and your twin come from outside this world. It wouldn't surprise me if there was nothing on either of you in Ermensoul at all. <gasps> But there is. Well, apparently there is. Apparently there is. Wait, how did you know about that? Didn't Nahida tell you? Oh, yeah. It's not like we've never met before. And anyway, you're world famous. 
It'd be more surprising if I didn't know a few things about you. Yeah, I know we met in an event way back in the day that I didn't get to play, and I wish Genshin would let us go back and replay some of these lore events, but I can't, we can't now, but I do know that we met you way back, way, way, way back. Every conversation with you is hard work, but your attitude is better than I thought. Right now, we have to keep the peace. I'm not interested in creating more misery for myself, and making cordial conversation is something I can manage. Huh? Wait. Wait, what are we waiting on? What are we waiting on? This light. It looks similar to those saplings. What could it be? Anonymous data. Hey, don't Anonymous. Be agreement. You have to share it with us. Yeah. Yeah. Shh. Just wait. Wait on what? Mr. Niwa, are you certain this is worth the risk? We are talking about Tatara Suna's furnace, after all. It may not pay to act rashly. There's no one else who can enter the furnace. It has to be me. Is that so? <sighs> well, since you insist. These are the guys from the essay. <gasps> it's... It's... That name, Niwa, was the man in charge of Tatar Suna, plus he belongs to the lineage of Ishin art, right? Whoa! What are we doing? We're... I have been in Tatar Suna for some time now. You have shown me great hospitality, as has Mikoshi Nagamasa, and indeed, everyone else. Where are we? Under your leadership, Tatara Suna is a warm, welcoming place, like a giant village. People are gainfully employed. Their lives have purpose. They are motivated. Sounds like somewhere I want to live. As I understand, the Raiden Shogun has, in recent years, eliminated much of the evil that plagued Inazuma. As for Tatara Suna, it was originally established as a means of safely disposing Crystal Marrow. The forging industry with Crystal Marrow as a raw material has since flourished, giving rise to generations of swordsmiths. Some world-renowned, others unknown. All passing on their legacy. Skills, blood, dreams. Every smith brought into this trade looks to find their purpose between steel and blade. That is why you accepted the proposal brought to you by myself and Akame. You do not look like you are from Inazuma. You look like you are from Fontaine, almost, with this, this get-up you got going on, bro. Yes, well, were it not for you coming to Inazuma and happening to make Akame's acquaintance, the two of you never would have joined forces. And he would be the first to admit that there's no way he could have revolutionized our forging process like this on his own. At least not on the same timescale. You allowed Akame to take all the credit for a method that you jointly developed. He sold it to me. And now, every piece of ore here is smelted using the new technique. Even now, you remain one of Tatara Suna's key consultants, working right here alongside us. I believe it is you, sir, who are truly responsible for the changes in our manufacturing and forging methods. <laughs> you flatter me. From the outset, I saw much that was commendable in the forging industry of Inazuma. And it has been my great honor to befriend you all. Okay, nice little conversation going on here. So you say, Escher. But is this really the truth? Uh-oh. My good sir, what do you mean? Uh-oh. I tried to resist thinking it was all connected. Uh-oh. Because I didn't want to speculate. And I didn't want to believe that things could turn out this way. Uh oh What have we gained from adopting your new technology? Ominous black smoke? Mounting production problems? Worker fatigue and casualties are up and continuing to rise at an alarming rate. And recently, as you well know, someone died because of that strange filth inside the furnace. We've kept the truth from spreading outside, but still, I suspect you understand it better than I do. None of the people who went out to get help have come back. Now, our mutual friend, the Kabuki Mono, 
is taking the Golden Feather to Narukami Island to seek an audience with the Shogun. This is our last hope. Golden Feather? But that doesn't phase you, does it, Escher? Nothing does. Otherwise, why would you still be standing there with that smile on your face? Are they gonna fight? <sighs> I'm just surprised that you finally chose to be so sincere. I'm sure you've been harboring these suspicions for quite some time. <sighs> Mikoshi Nagamasa may have noticed that there was one common denominator among all these events. Namely you, Escher. But Mr. Mikoshi is more cautious than I. He does things by the book. After all, Nagamasa is the adopted son of Mikoshi Torichio, the yokai struck down by the Shogun's own hand. If he truly seeks to redeem his family's honor, an abundance of caution is well advised. Interesting. You're well informed on the subtleties of his situation for a mechanic all the way from Fontaine. Are you sure you're not a little overqualified? Why, Mr. Niwa, are you suggesting I find a job as a diplomat? Sadly, I am so very attached to my craft. Okay. Enough, Escher. I'm here because an evil force is raging inside the furnace. And someone needs to take your new device inside the high-risk zone so we can absorb it and put an end to the problem. I'm in charge here. And I'm about to take some responsibility and head inside. Probably to my death. But what about you? What are you still doing here? Judging from the look in your eyes... Oh, they're nose to nose. seem to trust me. They are like literally nose to nose. Drop the act. We're past that now. Whoever you are, it looks like your plan to destroy Tatara Suna has worked. Maybe he's not who he says he is. I just want to know what you're still doing here. What's left? Don't you have all your answers by now? Honestly, I'm just waiting for the right moment. What moment is that? You're going to stab him, aren't you? Yeah, I'm called it. Stab. Stabby stab. A moment like this, where you finish talking and I stop you from entering the furnace. Stabby stab stabs. Called it. Why did you turn your back if you didn't trust him? <sighs> you. Niwa. You. Well, there goes Niwa. <sighs> You're a little smarter than I initially gave you credit for. I thought I'd disguise myself exceptionally well, at least for the first few days. But to my surprise, you had your people look into my background right from the start. Poor Niwa. Is everybody from Fontaine evil? I guess we'll find out once we get there. It's a long journey from Inazuma to Fontaine, but that didn't stop them. It is a long way. Eventually, they managed to confirm that Escher was an alias, and that I was not from Fontaine at all. Wait, what? What? So you're not from Fontaine? Your name isn't Escher? Who are you? Are you a Harbinger? Are you Detore? Who are you? Can you shapeshift? I have so many questions. Are you from Snesnaya? Natlin, where are you from? Need to know. What's your real name? Gotta know, gotta know, gotta know. And yet, despite all of that, you still fail to realize my true identity. And what I seek in Tatara Suna. Did you really think you would be able to see through my plan? That's the Tore! That's the Tore! I recognize that voice! I recognize that voice anywhere! What are you doing with Escher? Why? How? That's you are you! You are Il de Tore, the doctor de Tore. I heard that voice. I heard it. I've heard it. I heard it. And that voice is ingrained in my brain. And I'll never forget it. <sighs> If you kill me, there's no one who can get inside the furnace. So you're really going to destroy this place? Is that it? Can I get away from this guy? Oh, but you're quite wrong. There is one other person. Um, Which one is he, though? You not see him as a person, but you told him yourself. You're not a puppet. You're a human. You're just missing a heart. Now you're talking about Scaramouche. You're talking about Scaramouche, right? 
Now you're talking about Scaramouche and the Kabuki Kimono thing guy? You, but which Tatori is this? Remember, he's got multiple Tatoris. He's Voldemort, you know, he's broken his soul up into seven different pieces. And there's seven, uh, we don't know how many Tatoris there are. Which one is this one? <laughs> Whoever you're working for won't get away with this. They'll be found out. But this makes no sense. What are you really trying to accomplish by all this? Why go to all this trouble? He's sneaky. He's a harbinger. It's but no trouble <laughs> at all. Patience is a virtue which I have in abundance. This is all part of a carefully controlled experiment. I can't believe this. If you must know, I'm happy to divulge my true identity. I'm a Fatui harbinger. Call me the doctor i never want to go to the doctor again like i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna legitimately stay away from hospitals for the rest of my life the fatui who what do you want just to create a minor inconvenience for your nation that's it that's why you gave us your cursed technology just to let loose the evil energy from the crystal marrow? <laughs> Look how even the righteous soul is filled with venom when faced with its demise. Get up, Asher! Or not Asher, get up, Niwa! My device functions precisely as you say. It is the only chance you have of preventing a catastrophe and keeping the truth from the outside world. However... I did not make it with you in mind. It is easier for a person to be possessed by evil spirits when they are filled with hate. So give in to your fury. I want to see what happens when a malevolent heart is placed into an unsuspecting puppet. So, oh my god. How old is the Tory? How old is the Tory? Because this was what, 400 years ago, right? This happened 400 years ago. Make no mistake, even without you, that pure, innocent puppet would only end up being used by someone else instead. What other reason would a human have for befriending one who is not of our kind? And how has he lived for so long? <coughs> what are you gonna do? You gonna reach in and take his heart out like in, uh, you know, Temple of Doom? You know, where, where the guy literally like does this thing and reaches in and pulls out this guy's heart and it's like beating in his hands. Is that what you're going to do? And then you're going to like have, you know, Scaramouche eat it? If you give him my heart, tell him that both Nagamasa and I see him as one of us. I don't think he was going to tell him that. He has nothing. To prove to anyone. Because not everyone just wants to use other people. The only ones who think like that are people like you. What a beautiful way to see the world. It almost makes me feel a little guilty. Hmm. Then out of respect for you, I shall redefine myself. Bro is a psychopath. Think of me as a monster or a demon, if you wish. At least this way your death is not a consequence of your own folly turning you into an easy target. You simply lost to something more powerful than you could ever hope to defeat. I say, Mr. Niwa, let's see what happens. Will your puppet friend become a human? No, that will prove quite impossible. Mr. Niwa? Already dead. What a pity. Wait! I get it. This is one of the betrayals, right? So this is how... This is one of the betrayals in Scaramouche's story in the flashback. This is one of them. Because he doesn't know that Dottore killed Niwa, right? And 
this one is more like the parents or the people that he thought were his parents, right? Like the ones that he looked up to. Um, uh, the second one, right? Because the first one was um, Raiden, Shogun, A, or whatever, right? Number two was the older um, people who like took care of him or whatever. So this is the second one, right? And then the third one involved a kid. So this is, but this is just the second one. But that one turn him into Scaramouche because I, I feel like if he was maybe Scaramouche if this turned him into Scaramouche that third one wouldn't have happened right he would have never met the kid I don't know it's interesting but from what I'm guessing this is the second betrayal <sighs> Jester I have completed there the task you gave me creating a gap and infiltrating Inazuma's inner workings <laughs> What fun it was. I need a I need a Zatore bonk emote where like he's getting hit in the face with a frying pan like over and over and over again. I'd like to introduce a puppet to you. If he proves useful, let's make him our newest comrade. And if not, let's turn him to dust. This is not good. Not good. Oh, Balladeer's angry. But Balladeer didn't know. He didn't know what had happened. Hey, are you all right? Dottore. <laughs> Dottore. Uh, he's gone crazy. He's losing it. He's losing it. He's losing it. <laughs> Why is the screen all glitchy? Good. Good. Was that the doctor? Did he turn into a mechanic from Fontaine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, Dottori was in Escher's mind? Well, it was in Dottori's. He saw it from Dottori's perspective? I'm afraid so. He was the one behind the Tatar Suna incident. But why did we see things from his perspective? Because he's a harbinger, right? When I touched the doctor to confirm whether he'd eliminated all his segments, I read this memory in his mind. You have to admit, it must be the truth. Ooh, what else did you see in his brain? Maybe so, but it means nothing. Does it? But this memory shows that Niwa didn't betray you. He didn't. He never meant for you to be the one to take the device into the furnace. True. You know very well what that means. Even more so than I. You weren't betrayed. One betrayal down, two to go, I guess. This betrayal was a lie that he has believed for hundreds of years. Was this the part of the doctor's experiment? Dude, Dottori is like the crazy main villain in this game. Like what? Oh my God, he's always experimenting. If the betrayal never happened, it existed only in his imagination. But where does this leave him? Let's give him some space. He looks really mad. Yeah. Paimon doesn't want to be anywhere near him right now. Yeah, he seems a little bit pissed off. He got manipulated. We need to give him some time to process his emotions. Yeah, yeah. He got manipulated by Tatori. Paimon's still confused about the Tatarasuna incident. So... The doctor was behind it, but why has that gotten him so worked up? Nobody has ever deceived you like that, Paimon. It's natural that you find it difficult to understand. Perhaps he needed to learn this someday. So now you have the complete picture. Katsuragi took the kabuki mono to live with the people of Tatarasuna. Right. Later. The doctor showed up, disguised as a mechanic from Fontaine. Right. And that's when the trouble began. Right. It was all a horrific experiment planned by the doctor. Everything he did was just to plant seeds of disaster in Inazuma that would bear fruit in the future. I can't wait to murder that guy. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I don't care how long I need to play Genshin Impact. I don't care if it's not until version 9.7 where we finally have a 1v1 with the Torre. i will play it and 
Just just for the satisfaction of murdering Dottori. Of all the unwitting participants in the doctor's experiment, the balladeer became the main test subject. After the events you just saw in that memory, the doctor put Mua's heart into the device and handed it to the balladeer. Then he instructed him to enter the furnace and absorb all the filth caused by the smelting process. Gotcha. The load was far beyond what he expected, but the balladeer survived. He left the furnace in sheer exhaustion and said to the mechanic, This device seems to have protected me. What's in it? And what did the doctor say? The mechanic answered, Mewa fled this place for fear of punishment, but he left you a gift. He said it's the one thing that you've been looking for. He took it straight from the chest of one of his innocent servants. The mechanic removed the withered heart from the device as he spoke. Mm -hmm. The balladeer was stunned that such unthinkable cruelty had brought him the thing he'd been longing for his entire life. A heart acquired through cold-blooded murder is a cursed thing, but it has protected him from the filth. He thought Miwa had completely betrayed him, and yet this very betrayal had ensured his survival. Overwhelmed with anger and sorrow, the balladeer threw the heart to the ground and left Tatarasuna without looking back. Holy moly! So the doctor killed an innocent man and yep. pinned everything on the victim? Yep. That's terrible. Yep. Craziness. Being betrayed and abandoned by a close friend is sure to cause great resentment. Now we know what was behind his decision to take revenge on the Raiden Gokuden a hundred years ago. But it doesn't mean that vengeance was the right decision. Yes. Only if he understands this can he choose a new path forward. So what is he going to do? Tatori, you brazen-faced... <clears throat> Niwa didn't run from justice. You killed him. Oh, he's mad. He's angry. He's very, 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 very angry. A while later. Shall we see how he's doing? Okay. Hey. You okay? You all right? Everything all right? You all right? Need a hug? <sighs> oh, you're smiling. That's a scary expression. He's smiling. We've never seen him smile before. Are you worried about me? If we didn't have such a history, I'd almost think that qualifies me to be your friend. Hold on! What? We just want to make sure that this doesn't affect the plan. Oh god, the plan. It won't. I'll keep my end of the deal. Okay, now you're back to being rude. You were nice for literally two seconds there, bro. You were nice for two seconds. Hey, are you investigating the stuff we want to know about? That's why we're here. Okay. Our sister. Unfortunately, there's no information about the Descenders in Ermansoul. How is that? If I'm the fourth one, that doesn't make any sense. How is that if I'm the fourth one? Even if you can't find anything, that seems to confirm it. Ermin Soul does not keep records on the Descenders. Anyone who comes from beyond this world is not counted as part of Tavat. Except our sister is. But why am I category categorized as a Descender and she isn't? And if you're not keeping records on the other Descenders... We will, I guess we don't know who the other descenders are. Oh, does that mean we have to leave empty handed? I guess so. Not ex unexpected, but still, thank you. Don't thank me just yet. Hmm, you look really upset. <laughs> well, since Ermin's soul was a dead end, I guess I can share some other info that might interest you. Yeah, okay. Huh? About what? Now what? The reason why there are records about your sister and Ermin's soul. It might have something to do with Conria. Apparently, Conria was her first destination when she arrived in this world. How is that? She got trapped. Did the unknown god put her in Conria? Plus, 
She only came to this world because the heavens responded to the summoning. Summoning? Respond? What? The heavens responded? What? The jester told me this himself. You can take his word on this. He was a royal mage in Conria. What? And lived with your sister for a time. Wait, what? What is going on? The Jester? Another Fatui Harbinger? Why? Wait, what? What is happening? Did she get, like, brainwashed? Ah, uh, Why? I don't know the details. It's up to you whether you want to believe me. All I can say is, I wouldn't lie to you about this. I don't think you have a reason to lie right now. Did you get all that, Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. Astonishing news. Does this info count towards my mission? It wasn't for Merman Soul, but was it valuable? But see, this is why I think there's good version of Tevat, bad version of Tevat. And he's talking about the bad version of my sister when the good version of my sister is still trapped. I think that's what it is. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm that's my theory. Very valuable. Good. In that case, I'll take some time for myself now. Yeah, you need it after what you just saw. Huh? What have you done? Are we gonna fight again? Did you really just. Oh, man. What is. Now what? Lesser Lord Kusanali was right. My power's all but completely spent. Even if I use all of the divine power left in me, I can't sustain this shield for very long. Okay. I shared a secret with you, and now you owe me. I don't owe so you nothing. Return, I'd like you to answer a question for me. I don't owe you a damn thing. That wasn't part of our deal. I didn't sign no contract. I don't see Zhang Li around here. I don't owe you nothing. All right? I'm the boss here, not you. What do you want to know? Give me your hand. Why? Huh? What are we seeing? What are we doing? Can you hear my voice inside your head? Yes. Are you trying to brainwash me? No, I can't do anything like that anymore. At most, all I can do is exchange a few words with you. And Paimon's left in the dark. She can't hear anything. So tell me, in this world, is it possible to change the past? How? How? We, we're not time travelers. This isn't back to the future. What? Wait, why would you ask that? Done. Why did he ask us that? Huh? What the? What happened? I not only saw you hold hands for a second. Nothing. I was just thanking him for helping me. I didn't help. I didn't even answer his damn question. Wait, that look. Did he see me hesitate? That was because I know about Greater Lord Ruga Devada. So long. I it really, you I did not touch that. Quickly. I don't know what Traveler said right there. I did not touch that. I did not touch that. I have no idea what Traveler said. I saw him say, uh oh, and that was it. What did that say? So long. I suggest you get yourselves out of here quickly. Where are you going? Hey, wait up. Didn't you say that to go running off? Oh dear, stop. Paimon, we have to stop him. Where's Fast he going? Reaction time. But I don't think we'll be seeing each other again. Where are you going? Oh my God, see, I knew we couldn't trust him. Nahida, you were wrong. We couldn't trust him. From this day forth, the names Baladir and Kabuki Mono will cease to exist. Okay, what about Scaramouche? Those who died in Tatarasuna because of me deserve another chance at life. Hey, Baladir, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Freaking Paimon. You know, I never did like insects. Hordes of the puny things swarming together can be a real nuisance. What is happening? And I enjoy nothing more than to stamp them out like the pests they are. Where did he go? But if a colony of harmless ants isn't threatening anyone, I guess they deserve to be left alone. Luckily, everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. Baladir! Baladir! Yeah, hey, bro! Uh-oh, he disappeared! Come on, we gotta find him somehow! 
Oh, what do you want us to do? What are we supposed to do, Paimon? What do you want me to do? What? Where'd he go? Oh no, he's really gone. What? Oh, can you hear me? Yes, Nahida, hello. Are we on our walkie talkies now? Nahida! Hello? Traveler, Paimon, Paladir. What Paladir's not here. Now? I was suddenly cut off by some kind of power. Baladir's not here. Baladir's not here. It was the Baladir's fault. He he shut you out. See, and you trusted him. I tried to tell you. You don't want to listen. Nobody listens to me. Nobody ever listens to me. You tell Nahida everything that happened. No one listens to me. I didn't think he'd be capable of something like that with so little power left. Did he keep some of his power hidden when he was defeated? Or did he achieve something beyond his abilities? And it took everything he had. Is he dead? Where the heck did he go? Oh, it's all our fault. We were supposed to keep an eye on him. Sorry, Nahida. Yeah. Yeah, well, I don't think we could have done anything to stop him, to be honest. Don't be. It's not your fault. Please, let me handle this from here. Even though I'm not sure I can solve it. We're running out of time. Follow my lead and get out of Ermansoul as soon as possible. Follow your lead? What? We're out! And we're at... Uh... An inn or something? Why did we end up here? How did we end up here? What is happening? This is an emergency. I'll have to ask you to stay here for now. Everything's arranged and nobody will disturb you. No, I want to help you. Is there anything I can do? I'm sorry, but this isn't something I need your help with. Uh... Leave this one to me. Okay, whatever you say. An emergency? How bad is it? Nahida, will you be okay? We're not going to get beeped while we're in here, are we? Don't worry. If my assessment is correct, though there may be some minor disturbances, it won't lead to a disaster. Please rest okay. and recover your strength here until I say it's safe. Mm, sure thing. Won't lead to disaster. I don't know if I believe you. Her voice is gone. Well, she's... I don't know what she's doing. Paimon can't shake the feeling that something really big has happened. What do you think the Balladeer meant? And why did he suddenly grab onto you before? He wanted to ask me about changing the past. Paimon doesn't remember Greater Lord Rukadavada, and the Balladeer's question was a strange one. It's hard to explain in full, and the truth might be very distressing for Paimon. Can you explain it to me? I'll skip the part about the Greater Lord Rukadavada for now and focus on the Balladeer. You tell Paimon what the Balladeer asked you and what he might have been... He wants to change the past? But surely that's impossible! Yeah, how would we do that? We don't have a DeLorean. It's not easy, that's for sure. Right! Rewrite history. All that stuff happened already in real life. It's like, um, imagine Paimon drank all the water in this inn. Even if no one was there to see it, Paimon would sure as heck remember drinking it. Yeah, right. Great example. No, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I love the. I love it. I love it, Paimon. You're you actually using your brain. Hmm. So, why does Paimon still have a bad feeling about this? Paimon can't help but feel scared about what he might do. Ooh, Paimon's so confused. I've been confused since day one. Join the club. <laughs> I mean, I've been confused since the first time we stepped on this world. Maybe he wants to erase himself from history. Like Ruka Devada. Huh? <laughs> Paimon, are you okay? What happened? What is that? You can't Is really that do that, can you? Possible in Wouldn't that create a butterfly effect? If you... Wait, 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 wait. <gasps> we're in a paradox. Okay, I have a paradox. We par we par we're, we're paradoxing. If the balladeer goes into the past and erases himself from history, he never gets the gnosis from Yaimiko. 
and none of this stuff ever happens. Okay, we're you now we're using our brain. All right, so if he erases himself, there's a lot of things. Everything that we've done in Tevat completely changes. Completely changes. Not necessarily, but maybe. I'm just guessing here. Uh-oh. Paimon's head is overheating from trying to understand what he's up to. And it's still not working. Ugh. Paimon's had it with that little brat. He's been in trouble ever since we met him. I know, right, Paimon? No one ever wants to listen to us, okay? We try to tell people and they don't want to listen. There's no way he'll actually succeed, right? Otherwise... Won't everyone who's connected to him be affected too? Yes. Indeed. If the Balladeer does erase himself from Ermansoul, many people in Inazuma will be affected. I can't imagine what that situation would look like. Worst case scenario, it will affect everyone with a connection to the Raiden Gokuden, Kazuha, Ayaka, Ayato. Will this mean that they'll disappear? Oh yeah, I didn't even think about those guys. There's nothing we can do about it at this point. Hey... Have you got any ideas on what we should do next? I don't know. Seems like now there's nothing left for us to do but to go to sleep. But Paimon's still so worried. Paimon won't be able to sleep a wink tonight. Yeah, me neither. So, how about, uh, we list all our favorite foods to take our mind off things? Heck, if that doesn't work, Paimon's probably going to collapse of anxiety here. List our favorite foods. Steak, pizza, sushi, potatoes. All right. Paimon will start. First dish. Hmm. Munstack grilled fish. Oh, and chicken mushroom skewers. Tea break pancakes, cream stew, sauteed matsutake. You know one dish she didn't name on here? Sticky honey roast. I'm shocked. And Drayun chili chicken, almond tofu, satisfying salad? Oh, oh, also, Adeptus Temptation, Golden Shrimp Balls, Triple Layered Consomme, Lotus Seed and Bird Egg <laughs> Soup, and... And... Traveler's, like, zoning out. <laughs> oh, my God, he's like, oh, dear Lord. Good morning, everybody. Um, Good morning. Um... Wait, are we inside Paimon? We're looking at Traveler. Are we in Paimon? Hmm? Uh, um, hmm. This is a weird perspective. Paimon, what's wrong? Uh, what are we... What was Paimon supposed to be doing just now? Paimon what? was, um, talking? Huh. Paimon suddenly can't remember what she was talking about. What? What was it again? You were getting so worried about the situation with the Balladeer that you started listing foods. What is going on? Hmm? The Balladeer? Is that a food too? Huh. Weird name though. No! No! Not again! Not again! Not again, bro. This this is so messed up. Not again. Oh, oh no. No, not again, not again. Man, this game, this game. This is really throwing this whole past thing into a lot of stuff. Now it's got me thinking about other theories that I have about what's going on in Tevat. What if we are in the past Tevat? What if we are? And don't who me, don't who me, don't who me chat. What if we're in a past Tevat? All right. And we are sent here to change the future. We are in the past, not in the present. Right? And we're trying to change something that skews the timeline into a different version of Tevat, right? So, like, the current version is going straight, and then we're here on the timeline, and we're doing something, and then once we do this something, the timeline skews and goes this way and creates another um, thing of Tevat. What if, we're, what if that's the case? But how did we time travel? That's the, oh my God, now they're introducing time travels. Oh dear, sweet Lord. 
Oh yeah, yep, yep, you, yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yep, me and you, same face, yep, exactly, traveler. Iman doesn't remember the balladeer. That must mean he actually pulled it off. What in the God's name? How did he have that ability? That doesn't make any sense. Well, somebody had to. Yeah. What? What's wrong? Your eyes are like saucers. Wait. Was it something Paimon said? What if all he did was go into Ermansol and manipulate the data in Ermansol? So like balladeer never existed. I think that's my, I, I feel like that might have been what he did. It's nothing. So, the Balladeer, is that someone's name? Because it sounds like a nickname or something. Oh my god, Paimon. Yeah, yeah, I feel you, Traveler. Mm-hmm, exactly. This is really happening. I need to know what else has changed. Yeah, we gotta go see. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. Where are we going? I want to go back to Inazuma. Uh -huh. Fine by Paimon, but is everything okay? You're acting okay. like this is an emergency. So if he, if the Balladeer never became the Bal, or if Balladeer erased his history, he would have never become a harbinger in the first place. Niwa would still be alive because the Tori wouldn't know anything about Balladeer, right? But. <sighs> Now is not the time to explain. Let's get to, this is hurting my brain so much. Let's get over there. We made it to Ananoma Smithy. Oh my God, my brain is hurting. Ah, it's been a while. How are you doing? We have questions for you. Pardon me, I'd like to ask you a question if I may. Of course, go ahead. Uh, about the writing Go Gokuden, could you tell me that one story one more time? Oh, <laughs> now there's a question I wasn't expecting. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you what I know once more. The once renowned Raiden Gokuden, comprised of five branches Aminoma, Futsu, Ishin, Hyakume, and Senju. Wait, was it comprised of five before? I thought it was only two. Aminoma and Ishin, right? I thought it was only two before. The art of forging practiced by these five clans. Was it always was five? Taught to them personally. By the Almighty Do, is it, are the other those two are the ones Over I just time, remember the most? The five branches diverged from one another, as generations of bladesmiths honed and perfected their craft until they became five distinct traditions. Okay. Most of the great swordsmith clans of old have since fallen into decline, and for a long time, only the Amenoma branch kept its heart alive. But fortunately, Kaida Harakazuha recently returned to Inazuma and took up the mantle of the Ishin art. Right. Now, two clans remain of the original Gokuden Five. All right, that's why, that's why I'm thinking there was only two. If my memory serves me right, you yourself were present when he forged the Ishin blade. Okay, so that didn't change. Oh yeah, we were. Paima remembers that now. Yeah. We learned a bit about the decline of the riding Gokuden then too. Right. It seems like such a shame. What was the reason behind the decline? <sighs> that, my friends, is a tragic tale indeed. In fact, this was not made known to me for most of my life. All these years, I knew of those great clans' demise, but never the cause. <sighs> Only recently, when the question was on my mind, did I ask Kaedehara Kazuha about this? He told me that, as we are both heirs to a branch of the Raiden Gokuden, it was right that I should know the truth. There is no harm in telling you, but I must warn you. It is a dark and sorrowful tale. Tell me. The Raiden Gokuden were the targets of a murderous rampage by a vengeful bladesmith. Vengeful? Why? Four hundred years ago, so I'm told, there was a catastrophic malfunction in Tatarasuna's furnace. One brave swordsmith heard the commotion and chose not to flee, but he rushed to the scene, hoping to prevent a disaster. 
Tatarasuna was home to a state-of-the-art forging and smelting operation in that day. And overseeing it was the armory officer. His surname was Niwa, though right. he had family ties to the Kaidehara clan. Right. Knowing that they had just one chance to save countless lives, Mr. Niwa and the swordsmith leaped together into the furnace. The furnace quickly stabilized, but neither of them made it out. So Niwa in this thing, Niwa died in the furnace, but is this just the story? This is just the story that was been told. So Tori still murdered Niwa or whatever, or right? But this is the story that's been passed on is that Niwa died in the furnace. I'm assuming, right? The Smith's death, though heroic, dealt a devastating blow to his family's fortunes. His orphan son was left to fend for himself and grew up deeply resentful at the world. In his heart, the whole of Inazuma was culpable in his tragedy. He hated the almighty Shogun for her apparent indifference towards his father's death. And he hated everyone who had done nothing to try and save him. Now you're starting to talk about the Balladeer. Powerless and destitute, the only legacy he Maybe had to pass not. on to his children was his hatred. Generation after generation bore this grudge, living in utter misery. Alas. <sighs> If only the story could have ended there. But 100 years ago, the then head of this family reached the end of his wits. He could bear their fate no longer, and yet he could do nothing to change it. Do you know who he sounds like? Anybody ever watch the old Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? He sounds like Splinter from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, like the old ones from like the early 90s. So, is, is it the same guy? I don't know. It sounds like it, though. Finally, he made a drastic decision to take revenge on the ride in Gokuten. In doing so, he sought to vent his pet anger and shake the very foundations of Inazuma's forging industry. In his fury, he murdered indiscriminately, killing even bladesmiths from the Hyakume clan, which he belonged to. His goal was absolute. The devastation of all of the Raiden Gokuten. But when he came to the Kaidehara and Kamisato clans, his killing spree came to an abrupt end. He failed to catch them unawares. They fought back fiercely, and they did not spare his life. Okay. That is why the Kaidehara clan and their Ishin art survived that day. I suppose they were the lucky ones. Under the dire circumstances. The legend of the writing Gokuden has changed. Someone else attacked the swordsmiths. That had to have been Baldir. Either that or Detore. It looks like the Baldir did something in Ermansol, but it seems Niwa still died. Yeah, in the furnace. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? But if Niwa died in the furnace, that means the Tori wouldn't be able to give Balladeer the gift that Niwa left for him to become the Balladeer. Does that make sense? So, like, okay. Have you seen Kazuha recently? Kazuha? Why, yes. Just yesterday, in fact. We spoke for a while over some tea. He seemed well. Phew, so he still exists, and he's the same Kazuha I know. Things don't seem as bad as I feared last night. That's all. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Don't tell Paimon. There are other places you want to visit too, right? I definitely want to go see Kazuha. <laughs> Your expression says it all. You can't hide anything from Paimon. On to the next stop. Lead the way, traveler. Paimon will be right behind you. So let's go. Um, this is the Yashiro Commission's headquarters, so... Are we gonna talk to Ayaka or Ayato? Traveler! Hey! It's been a while. How's it going? How are you? If you're looking for the Commissioner and Miss Kamisato, I'm afraid your timing is unfortunate. Where'd they go? They're not here right now. Where are they? Are they out on business? The Commissioner is out on business. 
and Miss Kamisato is standing in for some meetings in the commissioner's place. If it's urgent, you're welcome to wait inside until they get back. How long? What do you think? Shall we go in? Thank you. We'll take you up on that offer. How long are they going to be? Uh, can we take a walk in the courtyard? If it were anyone Ooh. else, I couldn't allow it. But seeing as you're so close with the commissioner and Miss Kamisato, we are. I think it should be okay. Okay. We'll be heading in then. Thanks. Gonna go for a walk in the courtyard. Didn't you saw what if? Hold on. Hello, dears. Is there something you want to say? Can I ask you a couple of questions, Ferrata? Feruda? <laughs> of course, traveler. Yes, I know who you are. Miss Kamisato has told me about you. Okay. What would you like to know? How are the commissioner and Miss Kamisato these days? How are they doing? Oh, they're both very well indeed. Lately, Miss Kamisato has been rather busy attending all kinds of meetings and occasionally paying visits to some local organizations on the commissioner's behalf. Okay. As for the commissioner himself, well, you know, busy as ever, that much hasn't changed. Although, he does seem to be in a rather good mood these days. Okay. So pretty much business as usual on the Yashiro Commission, huh? Sounds like it. Very much so. Ayato is still the Yashiro commissioner. Ayaka is still the lady of the house. No changes there. As far as I can see, nothing's changed in the Yashiro commission either. I was expecting as much, but it's still a big relief to know that the Kamisato siblings are both safe and well. Well, got any more questions? That's all for now. Many thanks. You're very welcome. In fact, I would love nothing more than for you to come and visit more often. But I'm sure you must be far too busy to have time for that. Will do! Miss Kamisato Aruda. talks about you all the time. She's she so sweet. She's so thrilled to have you as a friend. And she's always saying how talented you are and how much she admires you. I must say... Many things in Inazuma seem to have taken a turn for the better since you arrived here. So you're not just Miss Kamisato's knight in shining armor, you know. You're a hero to us all. I'm flattered. Thank you. Oh, I mean it. No, thank you. I appreciate that, Furuta. Whenever the commissioner dines at we home, we got places to go. Emma always joins him. I always find myself at my most relaxed when I'm serving the two of them and listening to them chat away. Bruda, thank you so much for the stories and for letting us know that everybody is okay, but we got places to be, okay? I don't mean to be rude, but we gotta go. We gotta get out of here, all right? We got, we got other things to see to make sure people are existing. The commissioner has oh, such God. a busy schedule that he doesn't always have the chance to take his meals at home, but... Given the opportunity, he always prefers to dine here. Okay, cool, cool. He likes to get takeout once in a while. They say it's because Toma's a much better chef than most. Look, lady. <laughs> oh, the commissioner is so fond of home comforts. Look, we ain't got time for this. By the time you get done talking, the sun is going to be up. They get to talk oh, dear about God. you sometimes, too, you know. Yes. Always with a very mm -hmm. fond tone mm -hmm. the way one would talk about dear old friends yeah. around whom one can truly be themselves okay yeah yeah we're all friends yeah we know this okay 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 miss kamisato Gosh. occasionally joins them as well <laughs> Whenever the whole family gets together and they start talking Good. about people they've met yeah, and yeah. experiences uh -huh. they've had, yep. you always get a mention. Okay, that's good. That's good. They're talking about me. Okay, okay. It's been many years now since the late Mr. and Mrs. Kamisato passed away. Let's go. Much has happened in the Kamisato clan in that time. All right, I don't want to ask you what happened in that time because we will be here for literally forever. 
As someone oh God. is old and gray enough to have watched their oh son and daughter grow up, <laughs> it makes me so happy to see them meet a dependable friend whose company they enjoy so much. Yes, yes, I'm glad that I'm their friend too. Yes, yes. So in the future look the sun is coming up have the, time, <laughs> the sun is literally coming up always very welcome at the yashiro commission headquarters there will always be at least one old lady who would be delighted to have the pleasure of your company okay thank you very much i'll visit you again thank you the people of kamisato clan are very dear friends to me Wonderful. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Lord, she talked to us until the sun came up. Paimon likes it here too. Oh, Paimon, we ain't got time for your little jibber jabbers either. Thinking about the food here being really great. Oh, uh, I'm gonna stop thinking with your stomach. Paimon's itching to try it. We may just have to invite ourselves around for dinner sometime. Okay. Paimon uh, meant we should come pay a visit again real soon. Yes. Ideally around dinner time. Yes. Of course. You're always welcome. Thank you, Faruda. All right. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye. Uh, where are we going next? We're going to Tatarasuna. Great. To see goodbye what happened out there. Don't worry. We'll see ourselves out. All right, then. Take care now. Bye-bye. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Oh, are you two leaving already? She literally talked to us until the sun came up. Yep, everything's taken care of now. Don't worry. All right, we gotta go to Tatar Suna. Very well, safe travels. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, don't want to talk to next time we come up here. Gotta avoid Faruda. Xavier, how are you doing? Here we are. But what are we looking for? Something or someone? Do my eyes deceive me, or is that the Traveler and Paimon? It is. It is us. How have you been? I hope you're doing well. Xavier, what are you doing here? Firing the cannons was fun. I was in the general area, and now I'm in this specific area. There, that's me. So what about you two? We had some questions and thought you might be able to help. Do you know much about the Tatar, Suna? Certainly do. I've researched the furnace here in some depth. If there's anything you want to know, just ask away. How well do you understand the history of this area? Like the back of my hand. <laughs> Make no mistake, I have been here a good many times before. <laughs> Not only that, but I've met people in Inazuma whose families used to live in Tatarasuna years ago. They said it's all true, the history here. I'm listening. Hmm? Oh, well, uh, it's a long story. Don't you know? The tale of Tatarasuna starts a long time ago. All right, I guess we're going to have story time with Xavier here. I'm told that its history is one of the most foremost forging and smelting operations in the nation. Goes back around a thousand years. Still, the furnace has had a couple of serious maintenance issues along the way. A couple? When exactly? Yeah. One was just 400? in the last few years. The other Ooh. was several hundred years ago. Right. A fun fact, I'm not the first Fontaine tech guy to come and work on it either. There was a guy back then too. Yeah, you're talking about, uh, what was his name? Um, Escher? Escher was his name? Tatore. They say he was a mechanic who consulted on a technology upgrade. It seems like the technological collaboration between our two nations goes back a long way. How about that? Mechanic, huh? Looks like the doctor still sabotaged the furnace, leading to all the ensuing chaos. Hey, weren't you gonna ask Xavier something about Tatarasuna? Come on, ask already! Alright, so if, if Dottori still sabotaged the furnace or whatever, then who is the new balladeer or whatever? He wouldn't do that. Why would he? Oh, man. I am. Oh, that's right, because he said he just wanted to, you know, cause a situation or whatever. I am. Oh, I didn't realize you two were here for a history lesson. Yes. Me neither. Paimon doesn't know what's gotten into this one today. Feels like we've been preparing for a history exam or something. Oh, Paimon. Hmm? What brought this on? Did you just wake up today with a sudden burning desire for historical knowledge? Mm, something like that. Pretty much. Can I, can I ask you one more question? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, have you ever heard of... Kabu Kimono, 
Uh, connected to Tatar Sona. Kabuki Mono. Kabuki Mono. That's what I meant. No, I can't say that I have. I do know the word Inazuman for those eccentric types who always right. go around dressed to the nines. Right. Just the sort of person that I'd like to meet, actually. Right. You seen a guy with a frisbee on his head? But sadly, I've never had the pleasure, nor have I come across anything to do with a kabuki mono where Tatara Suna is concerned. So there's no more kabuki mono. Did the Balladeer really manage to erase himself from history completely? If so, he must have wanted to change the world and revert everything back to the way it was. But so far, it looks like the majority of changes have only affected himself. Thank you, Xavier. Of course. Don't mention it. Thank you for the story. Oh, we're leaving? Okay, bye, Xavier. Oh, you're most welcome. More than happy to help. All right, hopefully we will see you again soon. Farewell. Maybe over in Fontaine when we get there. Come and see us, okay? Looks like you got all the information you're looking for. Time to go back and see Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sure, but what's up with you today? Don't worry about it. Whatever it is, it seems like it's really troubling you. Paimon, don't worry about it. Keep your smile, Spino Crocodile. No matter what happens, Paimon will always be there for you. Spino Crocodile? Well, that's a new one. Thank you, Paimon. I guess. I can't tell if you're trying to cheer me up or you kind of put me down with the spinal crocodile. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> All right, let's head off and go meet the Hida. Okay. Thank you, spinal crocodile. Hey, um, it's them. No, it's not me. No, 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 no. I don't have time to be proofreading your essays, okay? We ain't got time for this. Akaba. Are you still talking about the guesse? You're, you guys are still talking about the guesse, right? Indeed we are. Of course they are. A moment, we'd love for you to join us once more. No! No, we don't have any moments. Okay, I am all out of moments. I don't have any more moments left to give. We have time. What do you want to talk to us about? It's the same topic we discussed last time. Obviously. Still looking for more info about Tatara Suna, huh? Hmm. Should we join them? No. 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 Perfect. These two have researched Tatara. Yeah, well, Traveler's all for it. Tatara soon has passed. Let's hear what they have to say. I guess so. Unfortunately, we haven't made any real progress. The article that you let me read last time was great. Can I read it again? It was great. Huh? Oh, uh, of course. We're reading again. Oh, we're finding the differences. Oh, 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 oh. What is the difference between these two letters? Uh, character in folk history is a very small portion. However, mentioned in the world outsider. It should be known that the appearance of such a character who in fact, you the tips of research developed before mechanic once visited Tartar Suna. Reportedly, the reason for his immigration was to exchange on and force. Okay. Seem to behave suspiciously, often wandering around essential restricted areas as if someone tried to turn him away. They would only earn incomprehensible mumbles from his lips. The mechanic often stared into the furnace, seemingly to check on his condition, settling, uh, uh, watching the local residents. Uh, judging from the era, it was not uncommon to see cross cultural exchanges of technological. Technical knowledge in places such as Tatar Suna, after traveling across the tides, foreign experts being, being welcomed in the room, yet calamity came not long ago, okay, which hints at high potential for causation, okay. However, some residents, current residents believe that these assumptions were merely the results of their forebears overacting, overactive imagination to theorize how things actually unfolded. Ooh, the mechanic. So this isn't about the balladeer anymore. This changed, right? Because previously, this was about the Balladeer, this part. But now it's about the mechanic. Long have I delved through many texts and documents, but I was ultimately unable to decipher even a specter of a clue as to his background. Still, mentions of the mechanic grew scarcer. In the aftermath of the Tatarasuna incident, I speculate that instead of the mechanic possibly being a figure woven from overripe imaginations, he actually did exist, and perhaps even had a hand in the events that took place in Tatarasuna. Okay. I presume you'll want to read mine as well. Here. Yes. What is your saying? Um, Miyazi hit his grin. Upon hearing this, Niwa released the lizard from his hand. Okay. Someone came walking nearby. Their footsteps steady and confident. The head that appeared by the door was 
One from abroad. The newcomer placed some lunch boxes to one side, not made to leave. Katsuragi called out after him, Sir, what about your meal? Are you not hungry? The man smiled upon hearing Katsuragi's word. I already ate. I hope that you, my lords, may also find some time to sate your hunger soon. You are a guest, sir, to see you help in these trifling matters fills me with embarrassment and he was said with sincerity the man smiled as if it was no matter then with a nod he departed like a falling spear the black cloud reached the bottom of the boat and was joined in its okay charging beast plunging the shoreline scan steps away the mechanic laughed slowly approaching the grand wreck not but half an arm was left of the one who had cried out for help and with a plop it landed at the mechanic's feet who crouched to a better studied the subject straining against the urge to take a bite yet he did not for the dark cloud swirling down had already picked the remnants up remnants of the ship clean then a second ship was sent followed by a third and a fourth each who left to seek salvation did so under foul skies and bleak fortunes reason dictated that they should not have risked anyone else but the situation in tatarsina was severe they needed to gain aim from inazuma even should it cost them more lives is that it yes okay so this is all about Dottore, I'm assuming, right? But did did Dottore show up as what was the what was the guy's name again? Escher. That was his name. Yes, Escher. Escher. Ah, the content has changed. Another effect of tampering with the information in Ermansol. The balladeer said he'd erased two of his names. If he really succeeded, it must have taken all of his might. But still. Well, what do you think? A masterpiece. Hey, Trap. Remember how last time Akaba was saying how he wished he could gather more information about all this? Yeah. Well, we just got back from Inazuma. So how about we tell them what we learned? Sure. What did you find out? Something big? Yeah, everything is big. It's a long story. Basically, we have some friends in Inazuma and... You tell the two writers what you learned about the writing Gokuden wow. and Tatar so story. Many new details. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. You're welcome. Have fun with it. Wow, you can like literally you can see like the pyramid in the background. That's pretty cool. Well, well. So it all comes down to one man's desire for revenge. Huh. Yes. You heard this from a member of the Amanoma clan, you say? Yes. And I guess it must be true. Ugh. So there's no ghost story here after all. No. This new information actually lends further credence to my hypothesis. Evidently, swordsmiths were seen as having an incredibly prestigious role in society those days, to the extent that harming them was conceived of, at least by the perpetrator, as a way of exacting revenge against those in power. Yes, yes, okay, point taken, you were right. But that doesn't mean I can't carry on with my novel. And they're back at it. Have, a, have fun. Into this. Yeah, we gotta go, guys. Okay, we gotta see you later. All right, we gotta go see a little baby cabbage. We've got some things to take care of. Bye bye. Oh, so sorry. Look at us prattling on about our projects and ignoring you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the information. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. See ya. Bye bye. Keep us in the loop if you find out anything else. Sure thing. Will do. No problem. Nahida, we're here. Hi. What do you know? Traveler Paimon, how have you been? Fine. Ugh, where to start? Hyman hasn't had a moment's rest this whole time. That night, we ended up chatting and chatting until suddenly, the sun was up. And then, he decided he wanted to go to Inazuma. I was investigating the situation with the Balladeer. She's gonna freak out because she's not gonna know. The Balladeer? Hmm, this sounds like some kind of code name. She doesn't know either. She doesn't know either. If if that's the case, wait, if the balladeer erased himself from history, then the entire Act 5 Archon quest would never happen. Right? That whole thing with the boss fight and, and all of that would have never happened. And all the Samsara cycles. That doesn't make any sense. Oh no. You look troubled. Oh dear, Is sweet there God. Something you need to tell me? Even Nahida doesn't remember, just like last time, any changes to Ermansoul affect her as well. The Balladeer acted quickly. He finished erasing himself before Nahida could stop him. 
I'm the only one who still remembers these things that were erased. Once again, I am the record keeper. Traveler? Uh, yeah, I, I, what? I have a question for Nahida right now. What was the name of the boss that you put into the Samsara cycle 168 times? That's what I want to ask. Like right now. Like who was that? What was that? Tell me. Do you know their name? Hey, what's wrong? You look so upset. There are things that have happened that only I can remember. I have to tell you the truth. Heavy heart, you piece back together the story that was broken and scattered across time. So did we tell did we tell her about Ruka Devada? There once was an there once was one named the Balladeer, created by the Electro Archon. He was a puppet who lived among men, right? After a series, a series of events in Tatar Asuna, the Balladeer, thinking he had been thrice betrayed, left Inazuma to roam the world beyond. With no trust for humans and only loathing for the gods, he bore his grudge for years as he grew in strength and then returned to Inazuma to take his revenge. He tried in vain to become a deity with a gnosis and ended up losing everything. Finally, he entered Ermansoul and learned the truth behind his betrayal, knowing now that his entire life was built on lies. He did the unthinkable in an attempt to reverse his tragic fate. That's quite a story. Right. Right. So, this puppet known as the Balladeer erased himself from Ermansoul, hoping that he could change the past. Yes, but it affected the future. But... How was he even able to do that? She even said change the past, which affects the future. There's, oh man. As the Traveler said, he very nearly became Sumeru's deity. Admittedly, Wait! I remember it a little differently. I don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeated it. Wait, 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 wait. So if the Balladeer can go into Ermansoul and change the past, why can't I go into Ermansoul, change the past go back to where the unknown unknown god trapped her sibling and just tell our sibling hey we're not going to Tevat. we're just going to forget everything and leave how, how come we can't do that as professor said he very nearly became sumeru's deity admittedly i remember it a little differently and don't recall finding anyone inside the machine after we defeated it so it was just a machine like a like a freaking power ranger but Power Ranger has a humans in it. Nevertheless, it does make sense. If someone were to successfully erase themselves from Ermansoul, the world would change to reflect the new reality. Okay. So you believe this person really existed, and we just don't remember him because, well, because he literally changed the world? Yes. Theoretically speaking, it is possible to do this. But I'm struggling to imagine the kind of person who would dare go through with it. The Traveler comes from a world beyond to that. Mm -hmm. That's why there's no information about him in Ermansoul. Right. And it also explains why any changes to Ermansoul wouldn't affect him. Right, I get that. So if there's anyone in the world capable of retaining memories from a past that has been rewritten, it's you. It's quite incredible when you think about it. So are you saying that we're better than Ermansoul? Because we still know about things that it doesn't? You can say that again. I don't know what the hell is going on. Paimon's having a hard time understanding this Balladeer guy's motivations. Why did he do it? I can only make inferences based on the information we've been given. As for what kind of person he was, only you remember that. He was not very nice. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure. We were enemies after all. I don't know his perspective on all of this, so I can't say why he did something so extreme. Did he want to reset everything or save someone or did he want to completely undo his existence? Everything can be set right. It's time to solve this once and for all. Maybe that's all there is to it. I still remember the question he asked. He asked me specifically and my hesitation gave him his answer. I hesitated because I witnessed Greater Lord Ruka Devada erase her own existence. Who? Who? Who erased their existence? I don't know who you're talking about, Traveler. I don't have no idea what in the world you're talking about. Who is this Who is this Ruka Devada person? But I can't tell Nahida that. 
To put it another way, I know why the balladeer was so sure it could work, but I can't tell them that. Something else worrying you? Something that you can't share? I just feel empty. He chose such a radical option, and yet... It couldn't change the fate of the ones who had died, right? Right. Niwa still died, but not by Dottori. Dottori isn't the one that came. He just died in the furnace. Once the balladeer realized he hadn't been betrayed after all, it must have completely changed his view of the people of Tatarasuna. Now he saw them as friends again. He couldn't keep hating humans after that. And... If he thought there was a chance he could save his old friends, it would be hard not to try. Okay. The story makes sense. Every time. <laughs> <of it. laughs> okay. Sure it does. Sure. We're just going to roll with that. We're just going to roll with that, baby cabbage. Yep. Story makes sense. Every part of it. Mm -hmm. Every single bit. Complete sense. Yes. The balladeer tried to achieve godhood with the doctor's help. He was unsuccessful, but retained the power to connect with Soul. Right. That power then enabled him to change what was recorded in Soul and erase himself, even though he didn't have much strength left. Well, if it erased himself, then how did the Tore give Balladeer the power to do that in the first place? It's a paradox. Now we're in a paradox, okay? If he went back and changed that, Dottori would have never met Balladeer to begin with, and then he wouldn't have been able to go back and have the power to go back and do the past thing. Yeah, it does make sense, but it still ended in tragedy for his friends. Oh, my brain is in overload right now. It just feels so hopeless. He gave everything to do this, but it seems like he got nothing in return. Yeah, he changed the world in many ways, and yet the dead still didn't get a second chance. Those faded to a tragic end could not be saved. So it was fate. That's all it was. It was fate. It just happened in a different way. Kind of like um, what's the what's the what's the name of those movies? Um, um, what's the name of those movies? Final Destination. Final Destination. Right? Like you're you're determined to die. Just you know, you just kind of stop death, but death is still after you. you just you're eventually going to die. You just don't. There's just different ways. What exactly did he want to fight back against? The betrayals in his life, or did he wish he never existed at all? Please wait a moment. I want to check something. What are you going to check? You're going to plug in your USB to Ermansel? Everything remains the same. All right. I just got to keep that in mind. I got to remember that. I got to keep that in mind that it's not like a time travel thing. It is a memory erasure thing. Things still happened. All the events up to now have still happened. We, with Balladeer, no one just remembers Balladeer except for us. All right, what are you going to go check? Hmm. hmm. found it. This should be the one. Found what? How did you find that? What is that? It turns out that I have a strange way of confirming everything he has told us. What is it? A record from a personal collection. It was tucked away in a corner. What are you talking about? You should take a look. Okay, sure. Now, is this like the pen sieve in Harry Potter? Like, did you pull it out of your brain with a wand? You know what I mean? We remember that scene, right? Surprisingly, the information is presented to you in a way that resembles a fairy tale. Is this a fairy tale? Fairy tale? Who wrote it? This matches everything that I said. I authored this record myself. When? Huh? You... Wrote a fairy tale that somehow has something to do with the balladeer? Okay, so this is kind of like a journal entry, right? Like she writes in a journal, right? Right? And she keeps it in, let's say the square is like the size of a bus, okay? And this is one of those tiny little squares that's inside the bus from a journal entry. That's how I'm seeing this. Like that's how I'm like visualizing it in my brain. When combined with the traveler's narrative, it's clear that this story is an allegory. Everything in it is a symbol for something else. Okay. Hold on. So this record survived from the past past? God, now we're doing like past past. Oh my lord. Yes. Any information about the balladeer or the kabuki mono and other records will have been changed. Right. But I wrote this story in a way that means it was left intact. 
Gotcha. Changing the information in Ermansoul changes to that. Right. But see, now you're saying that the change that the Balladeer make starts to make changes in Teva. But everything has happened the same exact way. Like, nobody's fates have changed because of Balladeer's actions. But you're saying it can. But Ermansoul can change information that was well hidden in advance. I guess I must have written this story as a backup before the Balladeer entered Ermansoul. Okay. That's incredible! What a great idea! She wrote a journal. And sending the Traveler into Ermansoul with the Balladeer must have been a further precaution. I knew he'd remember everything. Because we're not from this world, we're a descender. This story is abstract enough that it still resonates with the present information recorded in Ermansoul. But if we connect all the different pieces together, the true story that emerges is the one he told us. The now erased life of the Balladeer. Okay. Got it. There was once a lone monster draped in fox fur. The monster found a family of foxes, joined them, and they became friends. The monster lived with the family day and night, and everyone treated it as one of their own. Once in a while, the monster would take off its fox fur at night and lament to itself as it gazed at its reflection in the water. Okay. I am a monstrosity, yet they are too foolish to see it. I pity them. So I'm gonna say that the, the monster here, the monster fox is symbolizing Balladeer, right? Balladeer. Cause from the event, remember from the event, he shows up and he's super nice and then it he reveals himself or whatever. That's the Balladeer, I'm gonna assume, right? Has to be. But the monster soon found solace when another came to live among the foxes who was not their kin. Another? A kitten, carved Ooh. from the wood of a white tree who had been abandoned by the humans. Okay, so what does the foxes stand for? What does the kitten stand for? What does the white tree stand for? And who are the humans? The kitten too wished to become a fox. But its tail was too slender, and it could not grow a coat of richly colored fur. Okay. Yet when the other foxes saw this, they spoke words of comfort to the kitten. Even without a tail and fur like ours, you are still one of us. Well, those are some nice foxes. Furious at this happy resolution, the monster lit a fire on the mountain. Ooh. The terrified animals panicked as the fire spread. The only way to extinguish the flames was to make a sacrifice. Ooh, well then I don't think the monster is uh, Balladeer, Scaramouche, whatever, anymore. A gray fox stood up and addressed the monster. It said, you are the cleverest among us. Surely you can help us find a way to solve this. The monster smiled, led the fox toward the fire, and murdered it. Wow! The gray fox's heart was turned into a beautiful drop of water, clear, spotless, and pure. The monster gave the heart of water to the kitten, telling him, The foxes have decided. You are the one who must be sacrificed. Take this. Quench the flames and die for your fox kin. Well, that's just sad. This kitten just showed up. This kitten just showed up. This kid just showed up, and you're like, nah, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to die, bro. Can't kill the kitty. Can't kill the kitty. Can't kill the kitty. The kitty is crying. Sad. The fire was extinguished. But the kitten Ooh. lived. It left that side of the mountain and found a little bird who had a broken wing. Who's the bird? The two promised they would spend their whole lives together. But the little bird did not have long left to live. It passed away soon Wait. after. After burying the bird, the kitten left the mountain for good. 
Wait, 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 wait. These are the betrayals. These are the betrayals. This is the third one. The first one was about A, right? Okay, so this is the third one. The first one was the last bit. And that was A. Okay. Am I right about that? Yeah? Never again would it cherish a single creature, nor a single blade of grass that stood on that mountain. Gotcha. The kitten spent the nights wandering aimlessly, gnashing its teeth at the moon. Okay. How it wished to swallow the moon and devour the moonlight. If the world could only return to darkness, then it would finally be peaceful and content. I will become the new moon, the answer to everything. Then, no one will know that there were once birds, foxes, and cats in this world. And no one can know that they were different. Man, that's an angry cat. That cat is angry. We so the it. first one was the second. So the first one that we saw was the second betrayal. The one with the little bird is the third. We still don't know much about the first one. Look, I'm a gym teacher, okay? Trying to do symbolisms and all of this other stuff, and this represents this, and this represents that, and all that stuff. I can't do it, all right? I'm not a literature professor. I'm not an English teacher. I don't do any of that stuff. I play games, okay? We kick balls around, all right? That's what we do. I'm just saying. Okay. I remember now. This is not just the Balladeer story. It is his very own memories. I made a backup so that it would be preserved no matter what happened. To become a god, he was experimented on and modified countless times. It was brutal torture, and the only reason he was able to survive is that he was a puppet. Right. This memory was extracted from him by the scholars. Presumably, they kept it to have something to defend themselves with. Creating a deity was just the first step. Some of them wanted to be able to control it. That's why they backed up his memory for later use. Okay. I buried it deep inside one of my own dreams, and then hid it inside an allegorical story so that it wouldn't be altered. Ooh, I see what you did there. It's hard to believe that this person really existed, let alone that he tried to... Get rid of us on more than one occasion. Paimon has no memory of him at all. He completely vanished like a puff of smoke. The Balladeer agreed to help me look for information about the Descenders. Yeah. And although he was unsuccessful, he still helped you. Yeah, he didn't have... Yeah, he's, he came back and said there was no information on the Descenders. We don't even know who they are. Before he vanished, he confirmed an important detail that Conria was where your twin first came into this world. See, the, the, um... We still don't know how the change to Ermin Soul will affect the senior ranks of the Fatui, but in all likelihood, they won't even remember their own harbinger. I've never had this feeling before. It feels like life is an insignificant as a feather. It sounds like Paimon wouldn't like this guy a whole lot if he was still around, but still... Paimon doesn't like the way it all ended that much better. This is why wisdom alone cannot answer all our questions. We look, we see, and we comprehend, but the question still troubles us. So the answer is not everything. People yearn to find the truth and then conquer the troubles they face. When you give someone the truth, you give them a chance to choose their own destiny. To others looking on, this may seem like a pointless endeavor, but for him, the chance to act on his desire to disappear must have meant a lot. Yeah, I guess so. Never forget that even when we walk beneath dark clouds along a road filled with suffering, the light of wisdom is always there, guiding us toward a better destination. And that is what you have been doing all along. 
I don't know what we've been doing <laughs> since the second we met Paimon. I ain't got no clue what the world is going on, but I appreciate the the pep talk there, Nahida. Yeah, Nahida's right. Cheer up. How about we go get something to eat? We can pick up this heavy conversation again later. Yeah, food sounds good. Good idea. Paimon, why don't you take him out for a walk to clear his head? Take me out for a walk? Am I like a dog? Am I, do you think I'm Paimon's pet or something? You what? It. Come on, traveler. You need to get oh, out and walk for a while. You'll feel much better after taking a walk. Yeah, yeah. We'll just go out, you know, have a little duke duke. How about that? Get rid of the anxiety. Okay. I'm over in chat. It's really tough being the only one who remembers all that, but... Paimon's always here to help cheer you up. We're here. We're what here. Eat first? Foods? Yes, popcorn. I have a nagging feeling like there's something I'm missing, something important that I'm forgetting. What are we forgetting? Hey, are you gonna answer or what? I what? Sorry, it's just give me a minute. I'm still processing. Yes. Sounds good. Come on, brain. Let's dig this out. It's got to be in there somewhere. It was something about Ermansoul and deleting oneself. Greater Lord Aruka Devada. Who? Who, Traveler? Who? I don't know who that is. Who are we talking about? Man, it keeps showing me this Aruka Devada, but I have no idea who in the world you're talking about. No clue, Traveler. I don't know. Man, Genshin. Aruka Devada? Who? Forbidden knowledge? What? Nahida? Huh? What is it? Have you figured it all out? No. No. Professor, yes? Yes, that was it. Greater Lord Rugadavada, she said that no one can erase themselves from existence. Not even her. Otherwise, why would she need to create her own reincarnation in Lesser Lord Kusanali to do the deletion for her? There would be no point. Wait, when did she say that? Did I miss that? I'm trying to remember. No, I can't tell Paimon. She doesn't know about Greater Lord Rukadavada. This is crucially important detail. It's simply not possible for the Balladeer to completely erase his own existence. Because if he erased his own existence, his entire existence, events would have changed. Is what I'm guessing. Events would have changed if he would have erased his entire existence. In which case, the question is, what happened to him? Excuse me, boss. There seems to be a small problem with the last bill. Look, here. Just a coincidence that Frisbee Boy shows up? It's just a coincidence? We just happen to, like, in the whole world? Yeah, yeah. Wait, your colors are different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, wait. He still has that frisbee on his head, though. Hmm? You mean me? Yeah, you. You are missing, like, the colors that you had. No, not you. That kid. Didn't you see? Little rascal grabbed my last two fresh sunsetias and ran off. Look, if you're going to help out here, you can't keep spacing out, okay? What is it? The work's too boring for you? Or has the big city got too many distractions? I wasn't paying close enough attention. Sorry, boss. Well, he's nice. I think you're right. Maybe it's the city. It's so exciting. It can be hard to focus. <gasps> Ooh, I just popped another theory in my head. Who's that guy? You know him or something? I just popped another theory in my head. That guy is the balladeer. Another theory just went into my brain. He's who? The Balladeer, but he's not the Balladeer. You're a strange one, kiddo. You say you don't want any money for helping out here, and then when I actually give you some work to do, you keep letting yourself get distracted. I don't want to take advantage, so I'm happy to pay you what I'd pay anyone else. But if you keep acting like this, pretty soon I won't be able to afford to. 
No, no, please. I mean it. You don't need to pay me anything. I'm just so thankful you agreed to take on an outsider like me. You're welcome, I guess. But I got bigger things to worry about. Look, we're all out of Sunsetias. And I promised the lady down the street I'd deliver a fruit bowl this evening. Uh, leave it to me. I'll find some more. Just a moment. I'll be right back. But he's a good kid. Stop. <sighs> I'm gonna level with you, kiddo. I've never met a worker who said they didn't want a wage before. And at first, I got greedy. Couldn't believe my luck. But I figured you'd start asking for something in return eventually. You don't want money. You don't take days off. And in your free time, all I see you do is wander around, taking in the sights. Are you a... a drifter or something? Is that where he got his wanderer name from? That's right, I am. Wander! We can talk more about that later. First, let me get those fruits you needed. Sunsetius, was it? I'll be right back. Hey, what do we do now? Let's follow him. Okay, stay out of sight. Don't let him see you. Okay, sure. Yeah, this'll do. Are you, did you find some Sunsetius? Balladeer. He is. What are you planning on doing? Stealing his sunsetias? Isn't that a bit too cruel? Paimon, shush. Shush, shush, shush. Oh, all right. This should be enough. Hmm. Ah, guess I should wash them before I take them back. If I wasn't seeing this with my own eyes, I would never believe it. Yeah, I don't believe it. Huh? I still don't believe it. You two over there. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, can we have a chat? <laughs> Tell us about your past. Paimon, chill out. You've been following me all the way from the city. I'd have to be blind not to notice. You're right. We were following you. Uh, have we met before? Do we tell him? No, we haven't met. But you know me? Yes. I have no recollection. It's complicated, but I do know you. Uh, are you absolutely sure? Yeah, sort of. Sorry, but I just can't take your word for it. I can prove it. Ow. You're a puppet. A puppet? What makes you think that? Huh? <gasps> you were right. The look on his face. Oh, he wants to know how we know that he knows that he, we know that you know that we know that we know that you know that you're a puppet. I guess you do know me after all. That is not something I share with a lot of people. Look, I'm just a wanderer, but seeing as you've gone through all this trouble to track me down, I'm sure whatever it is must be important. There's somewhere I want to thank you. Okay, but please let me deliver these goods to my boss first. Are you really working for that guy? He said you don't want any more for it. Is that true? Yes, I ran into him out in the wilderness during a storm. And he let me take shelter in his cart. In return, I said I'd be his helper for a while. So since Balladeer went into Ermansoul, he never experienced the betrayals. Like, it did still happen, but it didn't happen to him. That's oddly nice of you. Let me take these back. Then I'll come with you, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, let's go. So this is Balladeer. He just doesn't remember being Balladeer. Here you go, boss. I'll leave them right here. Here's your sunset is. Oh, you really went and picked some more. Hmm. Who are these two? Something's come up, and they need to borrow me. Sorry, boss. I'm afraid I'll be away from the stall for a while. <sighs> Yeah, I gotta take him somewhere. Sorry, guy. I was just about to pay you anyway. Go wherever you want, kid. Don't waste your time here. What? I get it, okay? You just wanted to help me out, to thank me for giving you shelter from the rain that day. Even then, I don't understand why you're so adamant that you don't want any pay for it. But look, it was pouring down, and there you were, sauntering along without a care in the world, like you had nowhere to be and didn't even care that it was raining. 
Imagine you were me for a second. It's a little weird, right? Why is this guy traveling during a rainstorm if he's not trying to get somewhere? And why is he taking a shortcut through the open country if he's not even in a hurry? Uh... But anyway, taking you in didn't put me out even slightly. You don't owe me a thing for it. Certainly not all this. Your time is valuable. You know, you should go live your life. But I don't... You don't want know where to go? No, you're right. Then I suppose this is where we say goodbye. Thank you again for taking me into the city. Don't mention it, kiddo. I've run into all kinds of characters over the years. I just hope you find your path. He had one, but it changed. Thank you. All right, done. Thanks for waiting for me. We can go now. All right, let's go. Okay, here we are. This ought to be super interesting. What's wrong? Um, this guy. Huh? Are you? Balladeer? Hello. I do apologize for the sudden intrusion. We found this guy in the street, but he doesn't seem to remember anything. <laughs> so, yeah, quite an eventful walk. You tell Lesser Lord Kusanali what happened in the Grand Bazaar. You say that you are trekking across to Vat to train yourself. Hmm. Many other Inazumans who describe themselves in this way call themselves Shugenja. Why do you refer to yourself as a wanderer? Oh, that's a great question. Well, it seems more relevant in my case. To me, it sounds like a plant with no roots. But these two claim that they know me. We do. And that I have a hidden past unknown even to myself. You do. I wouldn't call it the past, but rather... Uh, this is a difficult one to explain. I don't like to rely on using terms like this often, but in your case, it seems that it ought to be called a previous incarnation. That's a good way to put it. Oh. Like a past life or something? Yeah. Yes. Something far more distant than the past. So far away that you cannot perceive it. Okay. I have to ask. What was I like in my previous incarnation? Evil. Mean. Terrifying. You wanted to basically rule the world. Okay? Not nice. Um... Uh... What are we telling? Oh, okay. I see. I think it's best to be honest with them. You want to tell me, but you can't bring yourselves to say it. Looks like I didn't have the most wonderful existence in my previous incarnation. You didn't. You didn't. You tried to murder us. We're just trying to think of where to start. If it's that difficult to talk about, I have no doubt it will be just as difficult to hear. But I'll be able to handle it. Please, tell me the truth. Okay. Let's tell him. Is truth something you care a lot about? Yes. Then I'll be straight with you. In your previous incarnation, you did many things that would be considered evil. Yeah. You nearly died because of what other people did. And many died because of you. As a non-human being, you hated gods and humans alike. You drifted from place to place, never able to settle, even where you found status and identity. You adamantly believed that you were missing a heart. <sighs> oh, he's sad now. Actions rooted in persistence sometimes bear bitter fruit. Sometimes you have to let parts of yourself go or you'll never be happy. Nahida tells the Wanderer about his past. Ooh, interesting. I gave everything I had. But it barely changed history at all. In terms of the outcome alone, that's true. Hmm. I don't think I can judge everything I've heard purely in terms of right and wrong. Each choice a person makes belongs to a specific place in time. A chain of cause and effect. A cycle of karma and consequence. Right? That is the nature of truth. If one thing is right, its opposite must be wrong. And yet, dichotomies like this are not enough to explain the world in all of its complexity. 
It seems like my previous incarnation wasn't the most likable individual. I'd say so. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, yep. <laughs> We're not trying to hurt your feelings or anything, but yeah, we weren't your biggest fans. Yeah. We were enemies. If we were enemies, why are you trying to help me find the truth? Uh, this is so That's a good question. This guy's supposed to be our arch enemy, but now he's just some random stranger we met on the street. Don't yell at him, Paimon. Why are you yelling? There's no sense to yell. He's got so much to answer for, but we can't make him talk because he doesn't remember anything. Uh, what a weird situation. Right? Lesser Lord Kusanali. As so the weird. God of wisdom, I trust that everything you told me must be true. Yes, it's all true. I can even show you the memories themselves, if you're willing. Ooh, that'll be interesting reaction to see. Please, I want to see them for myself. I want to experience my own transgressions. This will be interesting. Even though it will cause your present self great mental anguish? Oh, I'm just a puppet with no heart and no name. There is nothing in this world for me to cling to, to fill the void within me, except maybe these sins that can never be undone. Very well. As you wish. Ooh. Wait, shouldn't we go with him? This one's kind of on us for bringing him here. Don't worry. Whatever danger I might face, it's my burden to bear. Okay, good luck. Traveler, could I ask you to supervise him on my behalf? Again? The last time we babysat him, he took off on us. But okay. Oh, good point. Given your, um, unique situation, we'd better keep an eye on you. All right, let's go. Understood. <sighs> Thank you. Now, prepare yourselves, everyone. Are we prepared though? I don't know if I am. Reminiscent and Drift, the memories of a certain puppet, he can be the Balladeer, Harbinger of the Fatui, and he can also be the Kabakimono who was once sighted in Tatarsuna. This looks like Inazuma. It does. Right now, you're in a dream I created using information extracted from your memories. Okay. These memories will show you the raw truth. But be aware that enemies may react just like in the real world. Please be careful. Will do. Sounds like an immersive experience. It's a good thing we came along. Like 3D, right? Like when you go to a movie and you see it in 3D? You don't need to do this for me. I don't deserve your protection. You no, know, it's fine. It's fine, because I'm interested to know. We never give up halfway. Well, we had to once, but... That was your doing. <laughs> now we're just finishing the job. All right. Thanks. Man. Wanderer, this is the Shake Pavilion. In your Balladeer incarnation, this is where the Electro Archon placed you after your creation. You had a great many memories here. Ooh. Is that because this is kind of like his birthplace? You could say that in a sense. Interesting. We'll see why shortly. Interesting. I hear footsteps. Ooh, who is it? This place is huge. I can't believe the landslide didn't fill it in. I wonder who built it. The Crystal Marrow Miners? Kasaragi. He was one of the things in the story, that, in the essays and all that stuff that we saw. No, there's no way. Look at this exquisite construction work and so well preserved too. No mining crew would be capable of this. Super pretty. Hmm? There's someone passed out on the ground. <sighs> Who are you? Wait! Y you're awake. What happened? How'd you get stuck here? A are you injured? Uh-huh. Not a scratch. And these fine clothes. Who are you? What? This man is Katsuragi. Right. Deputy to Torichiyo's adopted son, Mikoshi Nagamasa. Right. He found the Balladeer in Shake Pavilion and took him back to Tatarasuna. But why was Balladeer hurt? And the rest is history. Well, it used to be. In the original version of events, Katsuragi was ultimately killed by Nagamasa. Right. Let me get you out of here. 
Our people are nearby. Hang in there. During the Tatarasuna incident, Niwa was murdered by the doctor disguised as a mechanic. Right. The balladeer, then known as the Kabukimono, disappeared not long after. Yum. As the second in command at Tatarasuna, responsibility for what had happened fell to Mikoshi Nagamasa. But Katsuragi had sworn lifelong loyalty to Nagamasa after the latter had once saved his life. At Katsuragi's insistence, Nagamasa killed him to put an end to the Tatarasuna incident. Okay. <sighs> yeah, what do you think about that? Katsuragi seems like he was a good guy. Yeah. He looks like a warrior, but he has a kind face. Ooh. Why this is interesting. A happy life. Nagamasa, I found this young guy in a cave sealed off by a landslide. He doesn't remember his name. Well, we need to call you something. I hear the workers are calling you the Kabuki Mono. That's <sighs> fine with me. Katsuragi, report to Niwa. Tell him we have someone new joining us. Interesting, okay. Huh? What are we doing back here? I hear voices. Who's? Whoa, this is where you were born? It's pretty, but there's nobody here. <laughs> I was abandoned, like you. I lived here for a while at first, but there's nothing for us here. We can't stay. Okay. I heard my mom and dad used to make swords, but the factory manager died, and then my dad got sick. <laughs> He kept coughing all the time, just like me. Then mom started coughing too. But you can't. You promised me. Yup. We're family now. We're gonna be together forever and ever. <coughs> this child didn't have a name. Or rather, the balladeer didn't know what to call him. His father died before he could name him. <sighs> After his mother died, the child stayed in their straw hut alone. Some of the neighbors helped to raise him. After leaving Tatarasuna, the balladeer ran into this child who didn't have a name, just like him. They made a promise to live together. But the kid was sick and died. And he was mad because he was mad at the kid for not keeping his promise. Oh my god! <laughs> he died from his illness while he was still very young. The balladeer came home one day and found that he had stopped breathing. And that's why he was pissed off. Hey! What's wrong? Say something! Yum, yeah, yum. Yeah. Man. You promised me we could be family! You're no different from Niwa and all the others. You betrayed me too. Oh, do you guys see Raiden? <laughs> <sighs> the voices have gone. It looks like the memory ends here. That's Sag. Let's keep going. Man, wow, crazy. You do realize you're blocking my path. I come not to obstruct you. I've been waiting. What you are truly is a weapon. One that could be wielded with an iron will. Are we gonna get to meet the gesture? Rebellion has begun. Why not take your place at the banquet and join those who shall feast? Ooh! Ooh! I was reading that. I wasn't even paying attention to what I was fighting. And this is the delusion factory. Where we first this met. This place is dark. Scaramouche. 
Well, no one knows this place. It's the Delusion Factory in Inazuma. Right, right. In the original version of events, the Traveler once encountered the Balladeer here. Yeah, and you did something to me to knock me out, and then you took the Gnosis from Yaimiko, or Yaimiko gave you the Gnosis. Such a creepy atmosphere, and so familiar. Right, I remember. I remember this. It was an unsettling, unsettling place. Hey, look over there. Well, well, my fair lady. Is this rundown factory and these incompetent fools all for me? Wow, you shouldn't have. She's back. Well, she's not back, but this is the first time we've seen her since Inazuma. Huh. What do you have to gain from belittling your subordinates? You might not want to admit it, but you are a part of this plan. Perhaps you find fighting in the Abyss to be a more meaningful use of your time? Oh, but of course, even this pales in comparison to being experimented on by the Doctor. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be experimented on, no way. <laughs> what a sharp tongue you have. Funny how negotiating never seems to be your strong suit. For the task ahead, I suggest you keep your true feelings to yourself. <laughs> Save your breath. I know what I have to do. I'm sure you think so, but I still think you need to hear it. Don't start thinking you're invincible, and don't let your emotions get in the way. Ooh. But she did. Surely you're not worried about me. I just can't have you getting in my way. You and child never fail to find ways to complicate things. I'm merely lighting a little fire in this chaotic nation. But you, being tossed out like trash, must make you want to destroy it completely. Do you remember the last time you were here? That was a lot of swordsmiths you killed. I'm sure the descendants of the ride in Gokaden are still suffering the consequences now. Look at you. Oh, don't get so sentimental. Now, give that poor little tongue of yours a rest and stop pretending like you're above everyone else. This is so good. Bye then. See you at the victory feast. Sorry, but the big booba lady did not show up for the victory feast. And that was our fault. My bad. Poor little tongue. <laughs> She's playing with fire talking to me like that. Who does she think she is? <sighs> Forget it. Someone might find me here any minute now. I should prepare to give them a warm welcome. Talking about me. You're talking about me. <gasps> You're talking about the traveler. <sighs> yeah, us. The plot does not end here. No. There is more Ooh, of this story more. to come. Yes. Wanderer, are you able to continue? Yes, yes, yes. Please be able to. Yes. Please don't worry about me. All right, we're going to keep going. Why are you staring oh God, at me what? in silence? <laughs> Can't you think of a nicer way to express yourself? I'm under no obligation to be nice to you. Besides, I thought nothing mattered to you except results in your own interests. Isn't that right, witch? <laughs> Hang on, I'm trying to read the dialogue. You're only number six because you can take more abuse than other humans. Do you really count that as an asset? You're about as much fun to be around as a raging inferno. But before we murder each other, it'd be best if we finish our duties. Okay, they're done talking. Whoa! Looks like we have arrived in Sumeru. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is where we fought Scaramouche, the, the robot. Uh, is that? Considering that Amorta's sage, Nafis, refused to join this project, I'll take part in the experiment in his place. What? Welcome. Oh, I look God. forward to a fruitful collaboration. <sighs> oh, great. Awesome. Yay. When do we start? You seem impatient. 
You should know that becoming a god is far from a trivial affair. It was just an experiment, though. That's what the doctor said. Dottori. The biological transformation is a lengthy process. As such, I too would recommend that we commence as soon as possible. In the event that a successful connection is established, his body will become permanently bound to the machine, and he will be unable to move independently of it. Nothing worse than what I've been through before then, Doctor. You were the most resilient test subject I ever came across. Thanks to you, I was able to garner a great deal of information. Alas, after that, you were under orders to remain in the Abyss. We barely saw each other, and it became difficult to further refine the knowledge I had gained. That was gracefully worded. Ever wonder what they'd think if they knew that nothing matters to you, apart from your crazy experiments? He is crazy! He's a psychopath! I suggest you speak to me in a more respectful tone, Scaramouche. The Ooh. mere fact of your utility does not make you indestructible. I want to see Dottori in action. You know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to eventually murder this guy, but I want to see him in action. I want to see him in action. The doctor again? Oh, that was uncomfortable to watch. That person gives off a very sinister energy. Yeah, that's the doctor. That's the Tory. He's craziness, okay? He's Voldemort of Tavat. He's got multiple whatevers of him. They're everywhere, all right? He's the doctor. He's behind all of it. It's normal for him to give you the creeps. He scares the bejeebers out of Paimon. Yeah, he scares me too. <sighs> Let's move on. Okay, where are we going? You're a god. Do you think I'm evil? Who are you talking to? Wait, who? Who are you talking to? If you accept that he oh, is you, talking to Nahida. You are you, then yes, you are evil. In your eyes, are there any differences between humans and puppets? Do you think there are any differences between your present self and your previous and future incarnations? If not, then what are the differences between humans and puppets? Whoever has tasted the joys and sorrows of life in the human realm is human. Whoever has loved and lost, cried with grief, howled with rage at the tragedy of death that eclipses the miracle of life, they are human too. So you're saying that he's human because he got mad and sad about all the betrayals and stuff that happened to him. <sighs> right? I've seen enough of my past. If possible, I'd like to reclaim the sins that are mine to bear. What? No matter the consequences, I won't run from blame or punishment. Whatever I am due, let it come to pass. What? Are you saying what? Can you return my memories to me? No! No, I don't want to return his memories. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. Why would I want to do that? Why, why, why? Huh? But won't that mean you lose your current identity? Exactly. See, me and Paimon, that's why we're besties. I've always believed that human lives follow a set of rules with each person being a collection of past experiences. As a puppet living in a human world, my life is subject to the same rules. Regaining your memories means reverting completely to your previous incarnation. All the emotions that you discarded will return to you. Yeah, and then what? Then you're gonna be all pissed off again? You're gonna turn into a big giant robot? We're gonna have to take it down, go through 168 some star cycles? Are you sure you want to do this? I've lived with the void I'm not sure. my whole life. My creator didn't need me. And ever since I awoke, I've just drifted from one place to the next. But then I met you. And I finally realized that reclaiming my missing sins might be my one opportunity to become my true self. Is this the true meaning of Greater Lord Rukadavada's words? A person can't erase themselves, and even though the original Balladeer has gone, this person will live on in his place. Are a person's sin an inescapable part of their destiny, too? 
I've always felt no. I have an innate tendency to yearn for something more, in a way that goes deeper than for most people. But for all my soul searching as a Shugenja, I've never fully understood it. Looking at it now, it seems that I brought this curse upon myself. So I beg you, grant me this opportunity to gain a purpose, to change my destiny, and end my wandering. Okay, okay. Very well. Since your mind is made up, I will return to you that which is yours. So he's gonna basically all in one go, gonna feel every single emotion that he's ever had all at once. With all the betrayals and all that stuff, no way. Insane. Ooh, cutscene. You have made your decision. Now, take this. He took his hat off. Ooh. Set him free. A puppet. What's he doing here? It's... You're a human as far as I'm concerned. Everyone's here. Wonderful. What a fine blade. Nagamasa will be thrilled. This is my... Is he all right? No! Oh, dear God. I knew it! Nobody ever listens to us! Again! Go, Chapter, go! Traveler? Wow! Hey! Are you dead yet? <laughs> <laughs> All worthless dross will be purged. That's why this won't be the end. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I totally understand it. I totally get it. I totally get it. I totally get it. Don't do that because, oh dear, sweet lord, how am I supposed to do this? There's no way I can do this by myself. Why is it traveler hopping in? Oh, not again. You shall fall. No, you. We're gonna die. There's no way. This has to be a scripted fight. Has to be a scripted fight. Because there's no way. I don't even have my first. The wind rises. But I get it. I get what's going on. past. The wind rises. My you dare to gaze upon me? How did I get healed up? Can you win this fight? I'm gonna assume you can win. 
Or it doesn't allow you to lose, maybe? Feeble human! The wind rises. Two seconds. That's far enough. Oh, ow, that hurt. Oh, that's right. I forgot. He can keep going up and further. Significant past. Oh, there goes Kooky there at the end. I get it. I understand it. Okay, so Wanderer was battling with his emotions when he got his memories back, right? And in that instant where he's holding Wanderer, he chooses to let that go, basically, okay? We're, I'm thinking metaphorically here. Let that evil part of him go. And when he did, he basically got a blessing from Celestia, which gave him his vision, right? Because you have to get, like, Celestia's thing, like, right? Like, like, hey, you're good to get a vision. So, and that's why he got the Animo vision, and now he's in a actual 1v1 with himself here in this fight with his old evil Balladeer self and his new awesome Wanderer self. That's what it is. He accepted his past and what happened, and he just moved on from it. And Celestia said, that's a good boy, and gave him an animo vision. Imbecile, get out of my sight. It disappeared. Did we win? Did we? Yes. What did you expect? I'd never lose to that. You sound evil, though. <sighs> There's the tone of voice again. Yeah. You're definitely back to your old self. Yeah. Wait, but it was you inside that thing, too. What have you got to be smug about? Sorry. I'm harsh on myself and everyone else. Just the way I am. Okay, now you've recovered your memories, the past will catch up to you. I can only imagine feeling all those emotions all at once. That's gotta be insane. <laughs> you sound like you're concerned about me. But don't worry. Thanks to you, even if I didn't change a thing, at least I now know the truth. The memory recovery seems to have been a success. This dream has served its purpose. Yup. Come on. Let's continue this outside. Okay. Welcome back, Traveler, Paimon, Balladeer. Hi! We're back, I guess. <sighs> it feels like we just went on a really long journey. Paimon's exhausted. Me too, Paimon. Tired. <sighs> Are you okay? How you doing? You don't like being addressed by that name? It's fine. But I was just thinking... I should probably change it. You won't go by the Balladeer anymore, right? After learning about everything the doctor did, there's no way I can carry on using a name connected to him. I don't blame you. I'm not planning on returning to the Fatui, and they wouldn't take me back anyway. Recent events will have affected a lot of people, and they might not even remember who the sixth is. True. So you're quitting the Fatui for good? Let's call it a tactical retreat. <sighs> Man, there's so much going on. It's like you said, Lesser Lord Kusanali. Everything may look futile, but it wasn't completely meaningless. At least I made a lot of people forget about me. But that doesn't mean your own past has disappeared. So people have still... Do people still have memories of him? No, other people don't have memories of him, but he remembers. Of course. And your main goal, for which you gave up everything you had, you weren't able to achieve it. I hope you can see and understand that. Changing the world, changing the past, changing the fates of other people, these are not simple things to accomplish. What you are looking for is complete annihilation. But this is just a fantasy. Even if the Balladeer is removed from existence, the world will not heed your will. Indeed. <laughs> How ridiculous. See, to me, it almost seems like he could snap at any moment. Do you regret doing all that when you've gotten so little in return? Even if I'm completely worthless, there's nothing in the world worth regretting. 
Lesser Lord Kusanali, you purposely left that information in Nermansol, didn't you? Yes, and I took pains to make sure that you'd acquire that information naturally. Why would you go to such lengths? You trying to win me over too? See? He looks evil there. In all honesty, your past experiences have made you a useful asset to Sumeru and to me. Winning you over was indeed a part of my plan. She's sneaky. It's all part of our plan. Yeah, it's all part of the plan. We know the plan, right? We're all in on it. Okay. Yep. There's a plan going on. What that plan is, uh, hell if I know. But before that, I wanted to tell you the truth about your past. If all I wanted to do was use you, then I'd be no different from the doctor. Very clever. I guess you could say that's one of my virtues. Utility to others is what gives me worth. So if embracing my sins is what it takes to make me useful again, so be it. Nahida doesn't see you in that way, though. Oh, right. I almost forgot. You're the good guys. You're into justice and all that. Yeah, what do you think? Sorry if I have a slightly different perspective on things, but I don't feel like I've been duped. The wisest leaders are fated to end up with the best helpers. I can live with that. I'm glad you're able to think of it in that way. Yeah, me too. Traveler, in the future, I'll continue to search Ermin's soul more deeply and see what secrets can be uncovered. That'd be awesome. Yes, please. Including the beginning of your twin's journey recorded in Ermin's soul. What exactly happened before and after that point? I want to know as well. Yes, get on it. Hurry up. Thank you. Let's hope we can find some answers. I will try. Yes, thank you. Little cutie patootie baby cabbage. Traveler. Yes? After I dove into the information torrent in Ermansol, why did you go to Inazuma? I wanted to know what you had changed, bro, because there was a lot going on. So that's how you found out whose fate had changed. And how. Yes. Well, whatever your reasons, you did me a favor. And I'll do everything I can to pay it back. I didn't do all of this for a reward. Please don't make it sound like I'm extorting you. Borrowing and returning are the only real relationships between individuals. I'll balance the books one day. Don't you worry. Hey. That's not true. A relationship between two people is not simply a ledger that can be reset to zero. I think deep down you realize this. People who show up in your life don't just evaporate like water drops and leave nothing behind. There is no such thing as balancing the books. Some things in this world can never be brought back, and they can never be changed, which is why there is emotion in the human world. Everything that you feel is real and lasting, and whatever is missing in you will not be made whole. To be human is to live with imperfections, you can choose whether or not you want to be human. Very true. Nobody's perfect. Hmm. No one is perfect. But humans can't live without a heart, can they? Anyway, I gave up trying to become a human a long time ago. You understand what pain is perfectly well, even without a heart. You're just bearing your feelings. The past is set in stone, but you can keep moving on. And the longer your future lasts, the shorter your past will become, until one day, it is but a tiny fraction of your life. Sounds like you've got a future planned out for me. I hope you can give Nahida a chance, because she's awesome, okay? I trust Nahida. Everything's ended up being pretty darn complicated. Paimon doesn't even know where to start. Yeah, hey, me neither. The most important thing now is that you need to follow Nahida. Yep. Otherwise, all our efforts will have been for nothing. Completely agree. just walking away yeah okay where are you going then i guess i'll be helping you from behind the scenes from now on that would be awesome yes please thank you thank you thank you can you go out and about and figure out what in the world's going on in this world take back can you go and find my sister for me that'd be awesome i'm glad that you've accepted our proposal why don't you choose a new name to celebrate? New name! Oh, 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 
I thought he was Wander. I pick an ugly nickname for you too. <laughs> Paimon, what's it gonna be? Uh, whatever Paimon says, that's what that's that's. I guess what your name will be. Why? Because she has a nickname for everybody. Because, because Paimon still doesn't like you that much. <laughs> <laughs> then I hope we don't see much of each other in the future. A name is life's first gift. You didn't say it out loud, but I know that's what you're thinking. <sighs> what do you think? As long as it's not something like Bull Chucker, you know, Bull Chucker, what was the other one? Half tone deaf bard. The traveler and Paimon have helped you a lot. We have. If you can't decide on a new name, maybe you can ask them for ideas. Yeah, you want us? We can, we can, we can give you a name. You want to? Oh, do we get to give you a name? No, Paimon only does nicknames. No, if Paimon. It's a serious name you're after. It's all yours. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think? Uh, have you got anything? I don't know. I don't know. We did run that in the Chinese Genshin community. They apparently I'm known as what what I say, Macho Beard Man. Okay, Macho Beard Man. He looks like a frisbee. Can name him Frisbee. That's a good name. Can, will it let me do Traveler? Name unavailable. Okay. What about Detore? You can't be serious. Whoops! I didn't really want that to be your name. Let me get some more thought. Okay. okay, 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 okay. No, 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 I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that to you. Uh, what about Paimon? That won't work. Oh, he says no. He just straight up says no. Try my own name? Which is Professor. You want to share your name with me? Huh. Not a bad choice. Ooh. Ooh, it'll actually let you do that. That's interesting. We're going to go with Macho Beard Man. That's what people in China call me. In the Chinese uh, Gidget community. Macho Beard Man. This is for you over there in the Chinese Genji community, which I want to say thank you so much for being awesome and amazing. Come and hang out over, over on Twitch or on YouTube, but come and see us. Come and hang out if you can. I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Are you sure? Yes. But I can always change it. We only get one more shot to change it, but we're going to change it. We might change it down the road, but Macho Beard Man right now. Yes. Here we go. Oh, all right. If you say so. You look like a Macho Beard Man. Now you have a name of your own. And we'll, we'll shorten it to Macho. We'll shorten it to Macho. What about a nickname? Are you done yet? Uh, I, still thinking. Stop rushing me. Is Paimon going to come up with a um nickname for him? Take your time. I don't <laughs> need to see you again until you've thought of one. <laughs> That's so weird. Seeing Macho Beard Man. <laughs> That's cracking me up. <laughs> what do you plan to do next, bro? Everyone who manipulated me and made me suffer will have to pay the price. That right there is cracking me up. You mean the Fatui? The doctor. Oh, yeah. We got to go get him. We got to go. We got to go murder that guy. Now that your stance has changed, I believe your future path will change accordingly. But it won't be immediate. You still need some time to compose yourself. Yeah. Hmm. Take your time, dude, Macho. One more thing. Yes, Macho, what is it? There are still some descendants of the Raiden Gokuden living in Inazuma. Some of them know. Well, they ought to know about the connection between Raiden Gokuden and myself. Okay. I don't plan to leave Sumeru for the time being. If you see them in Inazuma, please tell them that I was the one responsible for the Raiden Gokuden's downfall. Do you really want me to do that? Even though the events have been erased from the world, they still deserve to know the truth. Okay. I see. That is up to you. Huh? But if we do that, then... It's fine. Let them stab their blades into my chest if they so desire. Maybe that's how it always should have been. All right, fine. <laughs> 
no nonsense. Mm -hmm. I like it. Ooh, yeah, macho man, yeah. All right, let's call it a day. Sounds good. Goodbye, macho. Deity. And you too. See ya, macho. We'll see you around. He's gone. What he went through today would have been like living an entire lifetime in an instant. He'll need some time to calm down. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, true. But even so, after everything that's happened, he doesn't seem quite as fierce anymore. There were some bumps along the way, but it's all over now. My brain has literally been twisted up in knots. So we can finally go eat? Paimon is starving. Same, Paimon. Like, legitimately same. Thank you both. I hope you will find somewhere nice to go and relax for a while. We will. Ooh, it's the Gese guys. I can end my novel with some words from Mikoshi Nagamasa. The Gese guys. You mean because everyone else in the story is dead? <laughs> yeah, I heard that Mikoshi Nagamasa died at a ripe old age. He's the perfect fit to be the narrator of the epilogue. The dark clouds had dissipated, but they continue to cast their shadow in Mikoshi Nagamasa's mind for decades to come. Then, one night, as an old man, he had a dream. On the night when that prized blade, the Daitatara Nagamasa, was forged, the people rejoiced, and there was painting, dancing, and drinking. Ooh, that's a lot. All these expressions of joy melted down in the furnace fire and turned into red clouds that rallied around the final sunrise that Mikoshi Nagamasa saw in his lifetime. Life is a story too long to be told, a journey that you must walk to behold. <sighs> Macho beard, man. Humph, just humphing. And thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my lord. Whew, it's about time we had a break. Yes, finally. As soon as you stop, all the tiredness and hunger comes rushing back. Yes, I'll buy some delicious treats as a reward. Don't you worry. Wow, great! Yeah, you're welcome. Huh? Look at the vase. Oh, this is the one you broke. What about it? Did someone break it while they were cleaning the room or something? You broke like it. Paimon doesn't remember there being a cleaner. You broke it! How do you not remember that? That night we stayed here, Paimon bumped into the table after being started by something to do with the balance here and broke the face. Right, 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 right. So how would she not remember that? But the Balladeer erased his existence. He changed the world. So why is this vase still broken? Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. You sound lost and confused. Who is this? Yes. Fairy. Who is talking to us now? I know why you are troubled. Any who knew of this would find their mind overwhelmed. Hello? Hello? Huh? Is there someone here talking to us? Hello? Unfortunately, the fate of Tevat cannot easily be changed. Perhaps a god may have a slim chance. But for anyone else... <sighs> who can say? That kind of sounds like... Yaimiko, but I don't think it's Yaimiko. I, that's not Farina. When a small animal runs into a tree trunk, though the tree may sway, it is not displaced. The same is true of fate. Who is this? Like a vase that falls to the ground. Whether it is broken by a cat or by a bird, the result is still a broken vase, is it not? Uh, who are you? Yes! How do you know about all this? Answers! History does not change easily, but human hearts can. Believe your own eyes. Only that which you see is true. What is unseen is but an illusion. I don't think I've ever seen or heard. I don't think we've heard. I've heard that voice yet. Yeah. Do you know? The voice has disappeared. Oh, 
Oh God, and really? What <sighs> that? And what were they doing coming out of nowhere and saying all that scary stuff? I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. All right, I don't know. All right, I'm getting upset because I don't know what in the hell is going on anywhere in this game. <laughs> Believe my eyes. Does she mean I should trust my memories? Uh, anyway, that face is still lying there broken on the ground. Should Paimon go get someone to clean it up? No, I want Paimon to find out who in the hell that was that was talking to us. It feels wrong just leaving it there. <sighs> just a moment. Paimon will be right back. Okay. She's, and there she goes, just floating off. I wonder what else awaits me in the future. No, don't tell me that we don't get to... No! 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 No, 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 no. I want to know whose voice that was. Who was that? It sounded like Yaimiko. That's not... Was that our sibling's voice? That might have been... Was that Lumine's voice? I'd have to go back and watch the, like, Dane's Leave quest from way back to hear her voice just to double check it. Was it our sibling's voice? 